So there's like Hello. Alabama and. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. <coughs> the first thing the stream hears is Alabama. Yeah, Alabama <laughs> end. It's not the worst Alabama. thing I've unmuted to, to be fair. No, that's absolutely that's true. true. La I that's think last week at the break was probably the worst one. What? Oh, last week at the break. Yeah. <laughs> I don't you remember. Shit. I don't remember. Um, but hey, everybody. It's Sunday. We're back. Welcome to Dungeon Select. Hi. Uh, I had a fucking eventful week, and I was very scared mm. that uh, DS might not happen this week because of uh, some shit, but uh, we're here. My PC broke down, it got fixed. Dab. So we're here, not missing a session, baby! Haven't missed a session besides our winter break so far. We're on a roll. Yeah, that doesn't count, it's not missing sessions. That's true. Like, we have, <laughs> they would never schedule schedule a break. Yeah, we yeah. haven't had to cancel a session due to some unforeseen bullshit. Which is very good. Um, Koibi. Beanie. Oh. Thanks for the subs, homies. Essentially, You're welcome. you know. Yo, and Soko. Hype Train? Poggers Express? Dude, what's the D&D equivalent of, of a Hype Train? Hype Call Hype. Hype Caravan? Excite Airship? <laughs> I like, I like, I, I think Hype Caravan. Hype Caravan sounds better. We'll think on that. Um, anyway. <laughs> hey, how have you guys been? Um, it's gonna be a good session. So cool. I think this is the last session we have you, right? Because next week you're not here? Next week I'm not here. But then, aren't we about to get no, on a I'm boat here. for no, Jax? No, that's <laughs> not for no. You're for no. For we're while. going. I'll be well, like weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing a uh, thing first. Okay. I was okay. gonna say. <laughs> um, Thank God. Yeah, it's just, just. Uh, I don't know, like, how long we'll be missing you. Do you know? Uh, just like oh, every other week. That's doable. For, that's doable. For two. Yeah. So I'll work. be on next week, and then here the next week, and then gone the next week, oh, no. and then here. Okay. 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 Next five. Cool. 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 All right. Before we uh, get started, do we have any announcements? Anything we want to share with the class? Yes. Uh, tomorrow, if you are in the Level Select Discord or if you follow the Level Select Twitter account, make sure to check them because exciting announcement yes. coming tomorrow about our next big event. Mm -hmm. So eyes peeled. I need to go get my notebook now because I don't have it. Hold on. Nice. Yeah, if you're a, a part of the Level Select community, and if you're a streamer in that community, you already know, because uh, we posted it in the streamer chat already. We do. But, um, yeah. If you uh, look at that chat every once in a while, Soko, you would. Um... I fucking already know! <laughs> I'll spill right now, bro! Don't make me do it! Don't make me do it! Um, but yeah, exciting announcement. Um, it's gonna be good shit. Um, any, um, do I have any announcements? We didn't do this course last week, or this week, because my PC was broken. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll do a discourse again next week. Don't you worry. We'll get back to that. Um, I don't think I have any announcements. If anyone else has anything that they want to say before we get going. I'm going to Florida. Did I say that last week? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think, I think so. Did, yeah. Nice. I'm going to Florida. It was official now. I booked the tickets yesterday. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Day Hell before yeah, yesterday. Wait, are you going to be doing D&D oh. &D from Florida? I might make a couple sessions. I might miss a couple sessions. We'll see. That's great. Uh, so good. Just keep us in the loop. I, I will be there for th at least three Sundays. Mm -hmm. I should be able to make at least one of those. But we'll yeah, see. just uh, keeps in the loop. It's all good. Yeah. It's all good. All right. Um, we'll do a little recap uh, before we get going. Last session, you guys were still in Eldilon. You um, did, 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 you know, prep stuff for uh, for for your trip. Bought the necessary supplies. Um, talked about a potential venture a few weeks from now um, regarding a certain pirate crew, um, which um, we'll get into in a second. You guys also enjoyed a night of luxury at the uh, at the at the elegant carafe, um, bathing, fine dining, all that stuff. Um, but that ended on you guys traveling to meet with uh, Captain Vera Silex to get more details on the offer she put on the table for Jax. Um, I believe that is also where we left off as you guys were headed to that to the ship to the Porcupine. So uh, we'll just uh, get going right there. I think. I'm assuming Jax, you're the one. You know, you're leading them since you're. Uh, it's kind of your thing. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, 
Okay. To the porcupine. Uh, <laughs> good. good, good. Uh, you get to Strong the star, porcupine. guys. You, uh, you approach the ship and you see two dragonborn uh, deckhands uh, kind of eye you all up and down. Uh, recognize you, uh, Jax, and um, I believe the captain is uh, awaiting you, yes? Uh, yes, I believe so. All right, so uh, you've been here before. You know the way to her office, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can use this setup. And he just basically just tells you, like, motions you to come on the ship and uh, lead the way, do your thing. Uh, is there anyone, like, following us as we get on the ship? Or, like, watching us? Make a perception check. Uh, 12. Uh, as you look around, uh, you do see that the dock, you know, the docks have guards and, and whatnot um, walking around, but they don't really seem to pay you much mind. They're, uh, they're not, they're, they're looking in your general direction just because they're keeping an eye on things, but they're not, like, excessively staring at you or anything. Okay, right. cool. Alright, so you head down below deck, uh, find the captain's office. What do you do? I'll knock, since she didn't like me walking in last time. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hear some uh, some shuffling on the other side of the door, and eventually you just hear, uh, you hear the captain uh, say, Come in. I'll open up the door. And as you open up the door, you all see uh, a elven woman, pale, kind of bluish, uh, a pale skin with like a bluish tinge to it. Uh, long hair with some green and blue like strands uh, through it, wearing your typical like pirate getup, you know, like a like a like a airy like white blouse uh, with some leather pants, uh, several blades hanging from her belt, as well as uh, some kind of firearm, um, and she basically just gestures you all to come in. Welcome to the porcupine. I understood that you had some questions about the business proposition I gave Jack, so I figured we'd talk about it now, and I'll uh, be able to reassure you, answer some answer some questions that you may have, talk about it a bit more in depth. Yeah, well, I think I think you know my my personal first concern. I, I'm Davian, by the way. It's, Pleasure to meet you. Fear, um, Captain Silex, whichever one you prefer. We're, we're, we're going to be heading um, to Lake Udina pretty shortly, and we, we might be a little pressed for time. I was wondering if, it, if this is a particularly time-sensitive well, venture, or we might um, be able to sort of defer it a little bit. What, what do you know about the venture that I proposed? Uh, that we'll need to leave in two weeks, and we'll be on a ship, and... That's about it, really. Right. I just signed a cast. Tell her we know fuck all. We'd love to know more. She looks at you and no fuck all. All right, good. Um, Thumbs up. <laughs> well, the two week date is um, when our paperwork of our permission to, to be in port uh, expires. But if you agree upon uh, going on this venture with, with the crew and, and with me, I'll be willing to sign, you know, pay for some new paperwork to extend that time a little bit. Um, how much longer, say you accept, how much longer do you think you'll need? <laughs> One week at the most. So, uh, three weeks instead so of two. So I glance around at the rest of the group. Okay, uh, well, we're hoping it's at least an extra week. We don't fully know what we're getting ourselves into and how yes. we've heard well, I, wouldn't be, I would be shocked if it was more than three weeks, though. That would be quite the excursion. Should we say four weeks, that, just in case, and then we can just leave earlier if, if possible? I mean, that's yeah, works. that that works. That works. That's okay with you. Well, I'll just give you the uh, the sales pitch then, I suppose. Me and Jax, we have uh, some history. He uh, happened upon my crew uh, under some peculiar circumstances, which I won't bore you with too much, but. Proved himself to be an excellent navigator, as well as other things. Uh, he was very useful, uh, which made me decide to keep him around as a part of the crew. As um, wouldn't necessarily say my right hand, but in many ways he was. He um, he was the brains, I was the bronze. 
I guess is a good way of putting it. We... Jax is the brains? And you were the brawn. That's what I said, no? So, how... Is she... To is she... She doesn't look very, like, built, but she is armed to the teeth, and... Uh... I will just uh, look at... Look at Jax. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, no, go on. By all, you don't. Just making sure I heard that right. I'm gonna right. give him a little on the back of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Me and uh, Jackson, our crew, uh, we found ourselves shipwrecked due to what we thought was some natural circumstance—a a, a big storm, tall waves—and it just it, it shipwrecked us. And most, if not all, the crew um, died. Um, it's a miracle that I even got out, and then not too long ago, I, I learned that Jax uh, also made it out and had been asking some questions about me uh, to the right people, and word came to me. And as fate would have it, we were planning to make a trip to Ardilon for this whole the scrapyard event anyway, and uh, I figured it's about time that me and him reunited. So we did. Um, the scrapyard is all uh, a, a, a guise, a... It's a tournament, yes, for people to make some money and, and beat the shit out of each other, you know, let off some steam, but it's also a recruitment process for this journey that I'm planning. I just look at Brooks and have a, like, oh, fuck, kind of look across my face. I give the exact same look. <laughs> and given that two of you, uh, three of you partook, but two of you ended up in the finals, and given your, your relationship with Jax, I figured I'd offer Jax some more information and see where he stood on things. Basically, what I learned is that that storm that shipwrecked us um, wasn't natural. There is a pirate crew going around the seas. Um, they're all made up of druids from their circles that got rejected due to whatever reasons, you know, evil sons of bitches. Uh, I, I, I can tell you. But they go around the seas and basically use the guise of these, these, these natural phenomenons, such as, you know, tsunamis, uh, whirlwinds, uh, typhoons, what, what have you, to... Depends which hemisphere you're in. I suppose so. Uh, to, to shipwreck anybody, really. Um, whether it be fellow pirates, whether it be trade vessels, whether it be uh, passenger ships trying to make the ferry across continents, it doesn't matter to them. They are evil. And obviously, crossed me, and with that also crossed Jax, and when I learned about their true nature and their, their intentions, I... Well, let me just say that you don't cross Captain Vera Silex without some sort of repercussions. So I did some studying, and I found out, um, any of you familiar with Umberly, perchance? Any of us familiar with... <laughs> Anyone nope. proficient in religion? Oh, I, well, I, I, mean... I know unbelief, fucking <laughs> bitch, yes, see, bitch, bitch whatever the fuck. That's, that's unbelief. Um, so if you're proficient in, in religions, make a religion check for me. Oh, I guess that's me. <laughs> guess that's oh, the cleric. Oh, little me 18. Baldur's Gate taught me about unbelief, actually. What was that? Sorry? I think Baldur's Eight. Gate taught me about unbelief. Could be, yeah. Yeah, there's a Eight? book that talks about the... the it's like the bitch of the sea or something, isn't pretty it? Like, much, what is it? Yeah, it's something. Much, yeah. yeah. I oh, feel like you mind. could spend like forty hours just in Baldur's Gate reading the book. Absolutely. Like... Uh, was that an eighteen, Quaver? It was. Okay. You know that Umberly is uh, also known as, as as a sea witch, uh, a goddess of okay. the sea that most people, most sailors and pirates so... worship out of fear. Uh, Umberly is. An evil witch or sorceress uh, that, that that gained quite a, a, a big chunk of power and uses it to terrorize the seas and basically just fuck shit up uh, for no real motive besides just for the sake of fucking shit up. Uh, which is How why do you spell her name? Umberly. So U M B E R L E E. Okay, like I said, words, just right? checking. Uh, I don't think so, but it could be. Um, might be a dash in there or some shit. I'm not sure. Um. Isn't you know that pirates and a lot of, no, uh, of, 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 of sailors worship her out of fear of, of being 
uh, struck by her wrath, um, and and to kind of try and avoid that, they just uh, bring her offerings, pray to her, uh, on the odd occasion, um, perform tasks for her. Right. Uh, bad news. Her. Bad news bears all around, pretty much. Cool. I will repeat that to the group. This is like a little. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Lazarus. One of the artifacts she uses to um, perform these acts of oh destruction is a trident. A trident that um, uh, is in this plane somewhere. And I think possesses power great enough to make my way through the druid's defenses and put a stop to them. And what makes you think that you can control this power that comes with the trident? This is powerful as you say it is. It doesn't corrupt you. Well, I suppose that's also why you're why I would like for you to come along. Besides I'll stop you. A good paycheck. Um Like I said, uh, there'll be you will be paid. You will be able to take whatever treasure we find along the way as your own. The only condition is that I get the trident. I I sign to Vera now that I know she knows it. What makes you think we'll be alive to use this treasure if this is a literal, like, sea witch entity worshipped out of fear? Doesn't sound like she's just gonna leave her trident lying around. Well, hold, hold. And only Cass knows what I asked. Her. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking through like a book, just like holding <laughs> this library. <laughs> Yeah, it flips um, through manuscripts. <laughs> Diary. The thing about Umberly is due to... She can only manifest herself on this plane a um, certain amount of time. It, it, it costs her great power to apparate on this realm, and she runs out of that power quite quickly. The Trident, however, is on this plane permanently being held by uh, one of her disciples, if you will. So even if Umberly shows up, it's a, just a matter of time before she forcefully has to retreat. Which I'm not asking oh, yeah, you... Oh, yeah, I'm... I'm not telling you sure. to, to, well, to help me kill her. We just have to... Outlive her. Outlive her, yes. And, I don't, like, and this uh, disciple, uh, who probably also has power, because she's not going to leave it with some Joe Schmo sailor. I never said this task would be easy, did I? I don't want to be um, uh, pessimistic, but I really don't count on us outlasting whatever limited time uh, a, a fucking god of the sea has to just fucking shit on us. I mean... Which is why... I have a plan. Umberly is powerful, yes, but only if we're on the water. There's a group of islands near where I've tracked the trident. Once we get the trident, it'll take a little bit before Umberly notices that it's missing. We make our way to those islands. We're good. And where do we Is there any way we can lure, lure her out? Probably. Instead of commit to grabbing the trident and then scurrying back to the nearest land and hoping she doesn't show up, could we maybe lure her out closer to land so we have more of a chance? Mm. And then and then we know we've got a while to go and grab the trident, right? You know what I mean? I mean, or escape once we have the trident. So it's uh, I mean, right. So right, not just so, sitting on an island waiting for her wrath for when we eventually leave it. So we're, we're going to there. steal something that's of a great importance to her. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go sit on some islands and wait until she decides it's no longer important? Excellent question. I just point at Brooks and I also sign, yeah, I really don't want to live on some island for the rest of my life. It also happens that those islands that I mentioned hold a close connection to some arcane ley lines that, that travel underground. I have one of my crew, crewmates. Um, powerful wizard. 
he connects to those ley lines and he's able he'll be able to teleport us, including our ship, out of there. So if the wizard dies, we're all fucked. <laughs> Let's make sure Good he doesn't. No. Uh I mean there's a lot of moving parts to this, and the more you explain, the more complex and convoluted it sounds. Mm -hmm. And as much as I hate that, I don't off the top of my head see any better way of doing this. I'm not against it, I just... I don't know. It... Well, I'm all for it. I think it sounds fun. Of course you are. It's well, like this whole thing with it What's this whole time has been happening, Elijah has been writing on a bit of paper. Mm -hmm. And you can see he's just... He's, he's making a fucking contract. He's making a fucking contract. <laughs> <laughs> nice. He's right all the details down of what's happening, what they want us to get, and all so, that, and, like, yeah. time frames. He's just writing Obviously, it all down. If we find a better way, or, or you happen to f to learn about Umberly, just say, you know, you have some time. If you want to do some research yourself, feel free. I'm up for... I'm, 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 I'm all in for creative inputs, but that is the plan I've devised so far, and I think it could work. What's your relationship with, uh, Amberly, then? Non-existent, really. Interesting. Do you know anything of the elemental lord Istisha? Um... Well, that's the basics. Not not much um, powerful body of you know that powerful being of water energy and doesn't particularly like any of the other elements. Doesn't really care for anyone besides himself. Really, um, what? I just had a pretty radical idea. So feel free to shoot this down at any point. But what if we sort of asked because this is your elemental lord not the most sort of may probably not in the same even you know power level mm -hmm. as unbelief but what if we sort of tricked this into like trying to do something you, you know lord of water maybe he's keen on getting a bit of that sea real estate you know <laughs> maybe we could you know a lot easier to get in touch with this maybe we like trick him a little bit and maybe he could like lure out unbelief somehow. And how are you? And they, they how are you thinking fight. you're going to convince the elemental lord of water to do exactly that? The trident. I'm listening. Well, what if we offered Istisha the trident? Lying, obviously. I mean, you're not gonna give it to him. But we're like, we know there's this trident. It would make you really powerful. You could contest unbelief for power over the sea or something. And then when, um, when you know, see if we can sort of convince them to battle it out and that will keep unbelief busy. Well, no unbelief sort of, you know, can't come back anytime soon. And then we can go grab the trident and, you know, hope Istisha doesn't ask for it. So I mean, you want to steal from an two of them. water elemental twice? What would happen? What would happen if Umberly killed Istisha? Some other elemental would just kind of take his place, right? There's no I way he's going to win. No, I um, I wouldn't <clears throat> bet on that. He's still a very powerful being. Also, we've just heard that Umberly doesn't he just has to do well him. in this plane. No, Umberly doesn't do well on the land. Just on doesn't last long in no, this plane. No, on this plane. Say. It's a limited time that she can be a limited present. time but it's not like no but what i'm saying is in that limited time yeah but this is like fucking... why do you want to piss off another elemental that we're already probably going to be pissing off because we've already well, got two on our side that, uh, three. Uh, uh, captain vera's like head kind of like tilts <laughs> different thing let's keep matter. separate Don't... contracts separate and stick to what we're talking about and not fuck around with anything else are you guys even able to ever make anything simple? No. I, I, I signed think a this is I got a simple answer. We say no. I hate this. And I know Vera can see me signing it. I still just sign it to guess. 
Like, we can't just sail up, take the trident, book it for an island, and pray to fucking obviously not Umberly that Umberly doesn't come and fucking destroy us. That seems like a terrible idea. There is a plan B. Don't like See, I figured that, that this would. Who's got the trident? Can we just lure them to the land? Discussions. There is. Um... Who has his trident? Um, one of her chosen. Um, does, in, does the name Evandor Highcastle ring a bell? Does the name Evandor Highcastle ring a bell? Uh, it'll do for Jax. Do you want me to like roll history? Yeah. Uh, 14 plus 7, so 21. You know that Evander High Castle is an infamous pirate um, who, upon death, got raised as an undead chosen of Umberly and now is oh, good. one of her champions uh, and also the person guarding the trident. It's just some... Other pirate it can't be that impressive. I really think that I I How much visibility do we think that she has on this plane and on land and like is she gonna be following us or is she gonna be following the trident? She won't notice us. And not until we have the trident. Uh... But when we have the trident, we have two people that are capable of putting it somewhere else. That mm. then wouldn't be with us. Elaborate. Well, I... I have this bag that allows me to put things in a pocket dimension. I make eye contact with Kess, but then without moving my head and averting from Vera, just my eyes, I flick down to her her necklace with my eyes and then back at Kess. And then I'll just turn around. Okay. That sounds good, but she's gonna know where it was, and as soon as it that blip like disappears from the fucking material plane, she's gonna go right to where it was. And we're gonna be there. Fucking waving a little bag of holding at her. Not necessarily. <coughs> it's not guaranteed she'll immediately know where it is. She is in contact with her champions. They fear information. We incapacitate or kill. Probably incapacitate her champion long enough. For us to make ourselves scarce. She won't find out until we're all gone. And then at that point, if she starts tracking down the trident, it'll be... What, in a pocket Not dimension? Not in Essentially, yes. It's a good idea. So basically, the only reason she knows it's gone is when one of them goes, Hey, someone's robbed off with your fucking trident. So if we make yes. sure that doesn't happen... We have until she thinks to check in because she hasn't heard shit. And exactly. at that point, we're fucking long gone. There's no way to track the trident. There's no way to know we were there as long as we finish off anyone who is in the way. That, to me, is a much better idea. There's no way of knowing who was there. There's no way, you know, no witnesses. There's no way tracking it. And then, and then at that I'm... point, we're long gone by the time you fuck around with the trident. It's your problem, not ours. To, um... Long gone silver. <laughs> oh my god. And then, uh, to, to, to uh, talk about your other worry, being corrupted by the trident, I struck a bargain with somebody to take the trident off my hands as soon as I'm done with it. Somebody very powerful, uh, not a fan of powerful objects being let loose on this realm, and they've guaranteed that they will keep it for safekeeping. I also oh. just look a quick look Ooh. at Kess as she says that, without moving my head. Um, just like, eye flick. 
uh, so Archfey became a deity. Uh, I believe her name is Elsinil. Yep, there it is. <laughs> just looks straight at fucking Cass. Just like. Cass is pretending she has no idea what this name means. Why? Uh, just a quick why? like. <laughs> why don't we want Umberly to have it? It's not that we don't want her to have it, it's that someone else wants it. And we're. It's more that it will achieve together. the end goal of getting rid of the druids and. If anything, well, I'm just we're doing, we're doing get rid of the, the druids, favor. give it back. We're doing the world a favor by getting rid of these druids because they're killing innocents and. Right, 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 right. But then can't we just. And getting rich in the process. I mean, so you can't believe the trident yeah. back. Well, this particular artifact got deemed too powerful to be be present on this plane of existence and powers more powerful than I decided that it is time for it to be extracted from said plane of existence. Can I She's being paid that? Absolutely. She's being paid to get it. She's subcontracting it to us, essentially. <laughs> well, I'm not being paid to get it. I'm just... You're, you're getting it for someone. Yada yada. What you have worked well, out... Well, your payment is getting to use it to get rid of the druids. So. I, sp I suppose that's a good way of putting it, yeah. I get my revenge, we insight. rid the seas of some evil assholes, and this powerful artifact that could destroy the world, poof, gone. Not to worry anymore. What is your roll? 21. Yeah. Uh, you do not sense a trace of her trying to hide anything or lie to you. She seems very upfront about everything. So just some person was like, that shouldn't be here. Mm, like no, that. she told us it was Elson. Yeah. Well, yeah, the, 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 her whole thing is she has people all around the plane looking for these artifacts that she deems un, un, unsafe, and they find it for her, and she And she protects holds them. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, uh, I don't like this. How much are we getting paid? Any Where treasures you find from? along the way is yours to keep. That so seems... Find that. Can we... Can we at least agree on a sum? Because I feel like we'll probably end up getting fucked somehow. Make a persuasion check. Maybe a set amount if we don't find anything other than the trident. 14 plus 2, 16. Well, there's a pretty high chance of, of, of guarantee when it comes to finding treasure. We're going to places and, and coves and islands that it's really only known to other pirates, so there's going to be treasure, but... Are we going to the island with my Electrum? No. Oh my god. She just, Let's like, fucking the biggest face farm. Like, you, you, she fucking slams her forehead in the palm of her hand, and you can, you can hear it hurts. <laughs> Echo through the astral plane. While her eyes are down, like, in the face palm, mm -hmm. I quickly send a kiss. I like her a little more now. <laughs> oh, fuck sake. Um... 16 for persuasion? Yeah. How about... You... In addition to any treasure you find, you get to keep. We uh, write up a contract. <laughs> with a signing fee, or signing bonus, of 50 gold each, as well as 10 gold per day you work for me. Each. With the option for... Say, um... A bonus upon a job well done. Your choice of any magical item that I have in my possession in my treasury. One each. Can we look at the treasury first? No. <laughs> I feel like no. <laughs> we can't just have a little peek in? No. What if we scry, can we scry on the treasury? No. So we can call, we got to be able to call dibs. Where's the fun in that? What are, what are dibs? Yeah, dibs is where like you lay claim to something, and if someone else takes it, they're a dick. That doesn't sound very effective. So that would make it so that it's I expect this journey to be about two weeks. That would make it so that you make 190 gold pieces just for, you know, riding this out with me. Any treasure you find along the way, as well as if you if we all succeed, when we all succeed, you'll also be one magical item richer. And we get that to be pirates. Fair. And you get to be ten gold a day is bed and yes. board, and then some. I, 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 that you know, I'm not going to say no to that. To be fair, gives you a story to brag about in the tavern. Uh, you know, on the condition on the that sea, if one so. of us dies, the rest of the group split their funds between us rather than you keeping it. 
I'm hoping we get some sort of life insurance thing where if one of us dies, we get like 200 gold extra or something. Well, I'm not that rich, but, and let's just be very honest here, and I'm not here to toot my own horn, but having a pirate crew as a friend at your disposal could prove useful in the future, perhaps? Now, see, you say that, and it all Rob sounds well and good, trouble. but in the process, we're going to be pissing off whoever pirates has buried their shit out there. We're going to be pissing off the literal god of the sea. Um, we're going to be pissing off a druid it's circle a god, god who's wreaking havoc Just on the sea. sea. bitch that thinks she rules shit, but she doesn't. Lightning yeah, strikes. Different... <laughs> 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 a tsunami. <laughs> we're having this conversation on the water. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't underestimate your the, the the benefits of having someone such as yourself, uh, not in our debt per se, but at least you know, on agreeable terms. I just the methods that we'll be getting there are a little bit you know. I mean, who, you you said we'll be going to coves and islands and wherever, and there'll be treasure. But whose is it? You know. You've clearly never been a, never been around pirates before, have you? No. It's ours when we find it. So that's all that should matter. Yeah, something. but find You know when you leave a drink in a tavern so and then by the time you get back it's gone and it's just at that point you left your drink on the table and it's not yours anymore? The thing about pirates is they hide their treasure in all kinds of coves or islands, remote places. Uh, nine out of ten times, A, they forget about it, or B, they die before they can get, get it. So They're like squirrels. Right. Exactly like squirrels, yes. That's not... Really much like I've oh, known uh, my squirrels. Anyway, <laughs> look. I, I, no, it's how squirrels. They like they like plant. They, they like bury their their, their yeah, seeds they, and whatever. Right, and but forget about before, it. It's all the trees sprouts. You know, that's it's basically. Before we go any further and sign anything, um, can we just have a moment to talk uh, alone about this to fully confirm? Now that we know more details. Sidebar. Yeah. Of course. Um, well, to, I'm not um, going to leave you alone in my office. So if you want to just step outside, just probably. Yes, that, of, of course, of course, of course. Um, Yes, and we'll get back to you uh, probably pretty quickly. Take your time. Just, and I'll kind of gesture to everyone to sort of leave the room. But yeah, step outside. Right, I'll follow. Step yeah. outside. Yeah, we'll go. Uh, Is there like you, just an uh, empty... Uh, Diagon. Yeah. As you like, oh, like no. are about to turn away with the group, she signs something to you. Oh, no. Just the word panther and gives you a little wink. Oh, Can I'm I... gonna sign. I want to sign back. Um, siren and raise an eyebrow, like question mark. I'm, I'm gonna take a guess. She kind of like gives you a little head tilt, but doesn't want to like confirm nor deny. She's kind of she's very like, dismissive about okay. it. Okay, can I can I see that with my passive? What's your passive perception? Sixteen. Yeah, absolutely. Fuck yeah. Okay, thanks. And <laughs> guess it's still <laughs> she's like, okay. Yes. What are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, well... Is there like a uh, spare room somewhere? That, yeah, like, there's, there's plenty. Like, there's uh, the, the ship is a lot more empty now that there's no like event going yeah. on. You can see some crew members kind of sitting at a table playing some cards. Like they're probably on break, uh, having a drink. And there is some, some, um, some like separate rooms that are completely not used right now. Or empty at least. Find a separate room. Um, Right, so no, first off, ten gold a day, not to be sniffed at. That's pretty good. It's not the worst. Kes, you're nodding very enthusiastically, but I don't really think you. No, not about the money. Good. Just, just my general vote is yes. <laughs> right, but what, what I was going to say is, we're going to be it. at sea for a couple of weeks, and uh, that's pretty awful. What do you mean? What's well, how, how many people are on this? We're we're going on this ship, right? With this crew. Yes. Where? What? We're we're not going to be living in the lap of luxury. Oh, and we're living in the lap of luxury when we're traveling across the continent for two weeks. Yeah, that's true. We're going to be in jungles. We're about to trek through. It's the jungle. It's actually probably worse. The uh, sway of a boat when you're on the hammock is just unmatched. No, right. Hold on. We, we we're going to be traveling up north it's through. Well, we won't be going through New Dartmouth because of. Uh, but you know, um, we'll be staying in an inn in the other place that I can't remember the name of, and then we'll South probably Old. be going to where Siren lives, and then staying there, and then you know, okay, camping so two in the wild is a lot more enjoyable, a lot more personal. 
opens <laughs> personal space. Well, it's actually How more closed because it? you have so many trees and animals around, whereas the ocean is wide open for your enjoyment. Guys. Yeah, we're fucking trapped in a little wooden boat Guys. surrounded by smelly dragon balls. Is this literally it's, what it's, you're... Look, it's not comfortable. It's a boat. Nobody gives a shit. We're getting paid to be there. It's not like this is a fucking, you know, like Pleasure fucking cruise. holiday that we've signed I'm up for. I'm just making sure everyone's aware what we're undertaking here. Two weeks. Yeah, it's two weeks. <laughs> Tough tits. <clears throat> You know, if that's your only objection to it, then I don't know. Fucking bring some books with you. It's good money. It's the very plan's good shit, money. but every plan's shit. <laughs> you know, I think this is reasonably okay if we've got nothing else to do. And we get to be pirates. <laughs> that's yeah. the bit I'm probably the most reserved about. <laughs> Get my name. Maybe it would, it, maybe it would get you just... the good graces with the spider company uh, group. And like, if anything, probably not. They probably don't agree with piracy either. It does affect their trade, which is... Yes, well, they can also right. smuggle. But, Elazarin, hear me out, right? We're not going to be ransacking trade ships no. or... You well, know, unless we get bored. Shut up. No. We're not going to be ransacking <laughs> trade ships or caravans or anything. Or <laughs> vessels of, you know, royal whatever. We're going to be going to islands and reclaiming for Joaquin <laughs> the goods that these pirates have stolen from trade ships and left scattered about the ocean. We're, we're, we're doing everyone a favor. Bringing that back into circulation. It's good for cold the economy. Cold hard cash. It's good for the economy. Cold Spending it on, on kibble for... Uh, uh, you don't need <laughs> kibble, do you, Onu? Um, I don't know. I said that's just my only reservation. I'm I'm okay with the plan going forward. I think. At the end it of sounds the day, to me like there's nothing illegal. Gonna I just give Davian a look, like a "really are you that dumb?" kind of look. He says there's nothing illegal when we're signing up to go hang out with pirates. Right, right, right. Okay, no, 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 but no. We won't be doing anything. The man raises a valid point. Trident. Like, she's not going to be fucking. We're not going to be pirating shit on the way there. Right. Out of like if we've got a thing to do. Up, we're sailing there. Like There's no laws against stealing against fucking evil sea deities. We kill whatever we need to kill. That's probably not nice anyway. And if we ransack a couple of ships in the process, you know, no, it's no, 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 no. Time. We're going to be sailing straight there. We're going to be coming straight back. We're not going to be partaking piracy as far as this seems to be. At the end of the day, it's paid money to spend however many fucking days sitting on a ship eating, drinking, doing whatever the fuck you want eating heart attack and drinking piss I'm just gonna write on my journal, start writing like list of objections and then one, guilty by association and just leave it at that two, not just normal people we're pissing off if we fail very powerful entities three I'm not a fan of water (laughs) four (laughs) four four is Plan dependent on one person who seems to be very squishy, and then just show oh, that to the group. Okay, well, guilty by association. You're already guilty by associating with me, since I am a wanted criminal on the sea. We've already hung oh, out on the ship. Oh, We've you. already hung out on the <laughs> ship. You're too fucking far in for that one. Uh, also, Doug, yeah, you are in a fight club, so uh, guilty by association. I'm guilty. Well, no, well, I was you're guilty by participation. Well. Kess is guilty by association with you by that logic, because you were in an illegal fight club. So. And you're guilty you of know. association with me on a whole much more. Because <gasps> of the chickens and stuff. I just said back, yeah, yeah but no. I said back, okay, but that was when we were desperate for, this is just a guess, that was when we were desperate for money and I hadn't eaten in like a week. Now that's not a problem. Like now I have more money than I've ever had in my entire life at this moment in time. I can make this last a while. Yeah, but like, it's more? boring. Does anyone have any valid criticisms other than the plan's a bit shitty and the plan is shaky, but we've got time to work. I was on gonna it. say, I thought when he says that, I just pointed three and four as the most valid of like it pissing off super pissed like powerful people and, and plan reliant on squishy. Everything people. we've like, done so it, right. far pisses off pisses Honestly, off powerful people. When That's it comes to the matters of the gods in it all, I'm f i am I I I got tired of thinking about it. I know I know I had that whole bold plan of bringing this shit in, but at the end of the day, we're taking oh. from one god, giving to another fucking Come collecting the tears of a different one. Kess's dad is one or something. Like it's all starting to lose meaning to me. To be frank, um, I'm I'm gonna I, sign. I I'm gonna Every... sign to Dagon. Just just think of it like a job with the Crimson Lotus. Just think of it like that. I'm just gonna. Look, sign, like... I'll sign back to her. It's like 
by the way, she she's she's totally one of them. She knows what's up. Yeah, so yeah. we also know there's no Spidey gang on the boat. Yeah, that's yeah. one good thing. That's true. And then every day, every day, Jax, the more I we mean. deal, with, the more we deal with uh, de <laughs> people of deification, the more and more I see mm. your point. I just take the piece exactly. of paper. They don't really exist. They're, 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 they're just people that have powers. <laughs> Say yes, and I hate it every time. <laughs> now listen, when. When it comes to the whole pissing off Umberlee, like how many of us really plan on being career sailors or pirates from she's you not, know the point we're done, right? She's not going to give a shit about us. She's going right. to give a shit about the Trident if we're not keeping the Trident. You know, she's not going to fucking bother to be like, oh, I'm going to fucking destroy your sandcastle or some shit, like petty shit with us. <laughs> she's not going to give a shit. I just no, signed no a kiss. Just tell the group to fucking vote. If I'm outvoted, then fine. Whatever. I'll go with it. Dagon just wants us to vote now. All in favor there. say aye. 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 I just, I just do it like a... And then just nod, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Look, and we, all, all, all we've perfect, done so far is piss off powerful beings. We, you know, we fucked with a shadow Name demon. Name one powerful and... being we piss off. You, uh, we're about to go to a demon. fucking temple. To <laughs> I deal with your you did demon. fight a shadow demon, Malik. You know, yes, that is quite the power. Right, but he's not. A, you know, I, I feel like there's a spectrum here. We stomped through. <laughs> and destroyed lies altars. No, 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 more no. to one side than Malik. We destroyed altars to a fucking snake guard. Jack came and real close to pissing off the knolls worship. You guys destroyed that altar too. Yeah, we we did shit on. I you know, I signed back to cast. Oh, we destroyed a dragon altar too. We have a thing with altars. This they is... all just suck. See, but it's never a good time. <laughs> oh, so you have uh, some level, you know, destroyed like this like whole thing about like this this altar that got turned into a thing for Vecna. That's like, just yes, definitely. Uh, definitely. Oh, oh fuck! Dude, group you name, group Honestly, name, the doing... altar smashers done. That's our new group name. No, we're not be the altar smashers. Now that we brought this up, though, how do any of you believe in gods? But no. All we do is shit on gods. No, no, Jack. no. We, no, we shit on, ones. no, we yeah, with the bad ones. You know, the ones that we we well, think are bad. Really good or bad? In our it's, at the end I, day, I, it's, a it's what I decide is good and what I decide is bad. It you know, actually, gray areas. it Easy. blows my mind right gray, now that gray. I am the one that has to say this. But can we have this conversation later? <laughs> Just fucking go in. Right. Say the word yes, take we it, voted. We're gonna do it. Fuck off. Well, it's well, Logan. I'll find some way to make it more bearable for you. Well, it's fine. We don't need to worry about contracts because I've already got one sorted. <laughs> well, go get it signed and well, put your dick away and let's go. <laughs> I'll yeah, walk go. back in, um, and I will. I'll knock on the door. Come in, and um, just walk up to it and put the contract that I've made up. That just has everything we said on, you the, work on the table. I mean, I was doing. I was supposed to be talking. Yeah. So, you... well, I'm just right. allowing you to peruse so, through the contract first to make I'm sure that I'm not putting anything stupid in there. You are in. Yes. Yes. And should we just like, like the contract? Like thoroughly scan, like read through the contract, make sure that there's no bullshit. It'll just on be there, everything. No, and... just everything she's like said. It will just be on there. It's almost like meeting notes, <laughs> like. Minutes. Looks good to me, and yeah, like, um, <laughs> she'll uh, walk up to her desk, and she'll get like she, a little like quill, dips it in the inkwell, and signs it. Um, right. That was very anticlimactic. Hmm? I will fifty gold up front. Sign <laughs> bonus, you said. Well, you haven't Probably signed it, signed. have you? No. I will. I will <laughs> sign it. Um, but I won't. I'll sign it just with my initials, rather than any name. Okay. Can I sign it by just... Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Never mind. Fuck. Signs it with his initials, and it's as long as everyone else's signature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hang on. Just, it's another bit of paper. Like, hang on. Does, it, does <laughs> Daigon sign it in, like, webdings, where it's just drawings of the hand gestures to spell well, it? It's just, it's just a portrait. Be like, I was about to be like, I'm going to pop I was like, but I, I don't have paw. I have human hands. You got, you got hands. hands. <laughs> yeah, with cat claws. I don't have paws, because I can, like, write in the, you know, hold. <clears> so, I mean, are, I'm your, like, are you are your paws with thumbs, right? Are your feet pawed? My feet are closer to pod than my hands, looking at the art and the things I've seen, but the hands are basically human hands with fur and claws, and the feet look a bit more like the rounded, well, like, cat paw. Minus the fur, I guess, right? 
Well, yeah, for me, <laughs> just, <laughs> never mind, just clawed hands. It's um, the so. only place she can grow fur. She's just Wolverine. <laughs> She's just a gray hair, hair yeah. Yeah. Just along, the, along the knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> the knuckles. Straight like up. Uh, so no, it's just, hand. I'll just sign it like that. That just sign like a person. I, I kind of right. wanted to put a bob for it, but I can't. Pulse. What do I do? How do I? How how do I do just, this? Just, I write, your, just, just write your name on the on the dotted line. You can see that. Um, how much it? It. As much, I just signed a cast as much as you want. Okay, I'm, uh, she just signs it cast. Yeah. <laughs> she does not write anymore. Jack does a nice big John Hancock signature. <laughs> <laughs> Davian just hits with the, cl the classic little, you know, barely recognizable squiggle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, uh, like a D and then a B and then squiggle. <laughs> nice. nice. So his face as well. <laughs> Brooks has a very, like, elaborate over the top signature. The it's your, your signature's actually just different every time. <laughs> you can't remember what it is. Um, <laughs> like, you've only seen those, like, sharp, words. like, whistles over her finger and, and, uh, and her, the door swings open. Go fetch, uh, the, the 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 small metal case from the treasury, and this dragonborn is just like, I captain, and starts booking it, and then a couple like half a minute later comes back with his chest and puts it on the desk, and she f goes into her pocket, and there's just like this massive like key ring with a bunch of different keys, and this metal chest alone requires like three keys to open, and, and she opens it, and um, it is like. She like opens it so that the lid faces you, so you can't like you can't look in. But as she kind of like rummages through it, you just hear a lot of like coin clatter and 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 whatnot. Uh, so fifty gold signing bonus, yes. Yes. And she puts just five platinum, uh, like in like stacks of five on the table, like enough for one stack for each of you. Ooh. Welcome to the crew, and she like slams the 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 chest shut. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. <sighs> So, All right, let's not get too excited. We've got a couple weeks before we uh, go anywhere. Too late. So um, I'll make sure to extend our, our stay here for a maximum of two more weeks so that you have ample time to deal with the matters you're on right now. And then uh, we'll meet. I'll, I'll do some more work on, on the plan and, and run it by you whenever we get a chance to meet up next and um, finalize things. So in in game out of or out of character question, mm -hmm. what's the date after Ausim? What's our version of September? Ooh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do so I can write the remember? date our contract would kick in, and we have to report back. Give me just a second. Juan. Septum. Huh? Did you find it already? No, I just he guessed. guessed. It sounds sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Loki sounds right. Hold I think it's then. septim. Like, yeah, said. sept. Oh, I thought you put it. You were saying it sounded like with a U, like like a septum piercing. Oh or no, I meant like an I. But yeah, yeah, um. yeah. Uh, hold on. Sorry to be a pain. It does sound right. I think it actually came up in our last campaign too. Uh, septimon. So, yeah, so sept S -E -P oh, septim o n. Okay, got it. So that's why I was like, it sounds right, but I th <laughs> something's missing. But there you go. Cool. Thank you. All right. And um, obviously, if you uh, happen to come across any more information regarding Umberly or, or the seas in general, feel free to do some learning and prepare yourselves whichever way you see fit. Obviously, Jax, you know how things go. Um, if you are willing, um, to take up your old post as navigator when your time on the ship while we do this, uh, feel free. Of course, I wouldn't want us to get lost along the way. Beautiful. And uh, we'll figure out exact like positions for each and every one of you when the time comes. Does that sound agreeable? None of you will be scrubbing the I decks. I can in advance. Jax's understudy would be great for me because I'm trying to pick up a little bit of the whole... Sure, sure. And you know. uh, obviously, I'm not going to make you sweep the, you know, scrub the decks or anything. You'll be of value as opposed to some of the. I mean, a Lazarin would probably need to do that job. It's probably something he's never had to do before. <laughs> You've never worked in a temple. <laughs> no. It's just like a they pirate ship. Exist. Honestly. <laughs> Anyone just as much heights? daylight robbery and. No. <laughs> Well, you know, the crow's nest is uh, still open. That sounds like Kess's <gasps> job. Yes! 
Perfect. She yeah. is the most perceptive, so it mm. does make sense. Perfect. Well, is she? I think she is. And yep. And just like sees Kes getting distracted. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, she's, she's very good at seeing things. She's not very good at concentrating on things. Oh. Yeah. She has ADHD. <laughs> All right. Well, like that, just it's just being cool, disruptive. Not easy. Welcome to the porcupine, then, ladies and gents. Fantastic. Thank Is you. there anyone we need to get introduced to first, mate? Um, situation, well, we'll do or that when you get back. I do, obviously, I know that you're busy, and you have, I, I believe, Jack's mentioned you're planning to head out of the city come morning. So. Yes. Yeah, we've got some diplomacy. Well, uh, I'll make sure that everybody's present uh, a couple of weeks from now. Whenever you, uh, if you can, and have an opportunity to maybe. I don't know. Send a message my way uh, at any point in time, giving me a bit of an indication when to expect you. That would be appreciated. If not, I'll just see you when I see you. Yeah, keep an eye out for this massive bird. If there is a message, that's how it will come. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know. You know obviously, I know how to do, you know, deliver messages without the actual need for physical letters, but I don't know if anyone in your... Yep. I've no idea. Group. Has he been to you? It's quite a useful trick if you manage to pick it up along the way. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> it's late and we have rooms at the Elegant Carafe to. Oh, uh, wow. And tomorrow to... I have to go get some clothes made. Oh, God. Right. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so have a good night. <sighs> you and, too. Uh, see you when I see you. See you. I shall nod my head leave. and walk out and off the yeah. ship. Cause yeah, fuck this shit. Howdy. Get the fuck, the fuck oh. out of here. I'm stay behind a quick second. Okay. Um, when everyone's kind of like walked a little bit away, mm -hmm. I'm like, kind of walk a little bit closer and be like, um, I'm assuming you weren't planning to allow them to pick the dragon egg from the horde, correct? Oh my god, imagine. <laughs> that's not, that's no, that's not even in the treasury. Okay, I, I just, I, you know, I just wanted to make sure. And by the time you and your friends get back, it'll be off the ship. Perfect. And I will leave. Okay. So we're, we're not waiting up for him on the assumption that they're reliving memory. <laughs> no, no, I, I shouldn't <laughs> just sit behind for a reason. Absolutely. And just see you walking to the crafts. Okay. I'm gonna get a room at the friendly giant. Oh, yeah. I didn't get one at the craft. True. Where you you do, you're staying uh... the night on the ship. Yep. Anything you guys want to do before you go to bed for the night? I'm just uh, gonna fill in Kess on the last thing she signed to me, and then my my guess at her moniker, which she neither confirmed nor denied. Well, that's my one, so it can't be hers. Oh, fuck! I'm stupid! Oh, I forgot! Oh, <laughs> no, that was yours! <laughs> fuck! Oh. I thought it was so good, and it fit the pirate thing. God, I'm so annoyed now. And then, so when Kess says that, I just, like, do a big old face palm. <laughs> and I'm like, and I sign back, okay, she, I think she thinks I'm really stupid now. <laughs> what did you do? Did you just, like, sign it, and then, like, a question? Yeah. Hmm. I no idea what she interpreted that as. Confused, yep. but also the idea of like, oh, I'm just going to let them think what they want to think. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't even have a moniker. That's how like high up here that you get so high up you shouldn't get one anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> you, you I don't have just... a, I'm like, I just yeah. asked, so what do you think it would be? Like, what's, I can't think of anything else. It's a one word. What's, what's a pirate? Maybe it's some sort of ocean animal. I don't know. Like a kraken. That would have been so much better. That would have been fun. This is just the name's Dave. Or parrot. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go talk to Blue. Fuck's sake! Is that signed or is that to everyone? No, nah, that's just that was just to, uh, and like, end the conversation with Daigon before she just disappears. <laughs> I gotta talk to Blue. <laughs> okay. Disappears. Okay. Is this uh, like an everybody deafen kind of thing or? Uh... Mm. Nah. No, nah, I mean it is not. Fair enough. There's no secrets in this family now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Maybe. 
Maybe. Maybe. Let's just say I'm on the for a bit then. Yeah. You don't. Oh, break you, Belle. <laughs> Baited. <laughs> okay, so you pop in the vessel? Yep. You just. Is he already there when she like, no. pops up? Okay. She's like. She's gonna put the statue on the desk and like move some of the money and mm -hmm. put it on the desk and then sit on the bed and then call for Blue. Uh, Blue appears before you and just kind of uh, looks at you. How's it going? Good. I mean, I I talked to my dad since last time I saw you. How'd that go? Well, twice actually. Yeah, first time um, was very weird. Um, mm. He's I don't know if he's okay. And then the second time we were it was to ask about his dishes and stuff. You mean you don't know if he's okay? He has like this green thing on his neck. That he kept like scratching. I haven't seen him in a while, so I don't know. Like, did he look ill, or...? He seemed to be, like, in pain. Hmm. It's curious. Hmm. He didn't explain it to you when you noticed it, or did no. you just keep your mouth shut? I mostly just kind of didn't ask. <laughs> I asked if he was okay, and he was like, yeah, it's fine. And then I was like, hmm, I'm not going to ask again then. Fair enough. All right. So, you guys in good terms then? Yeah, we're not on bad terms. It's just kind of neutral. He's gonna help us with the the tears. Oh boy, is he? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Well. There's a lot of things I can say about your dad, but one thing, he is a good diplomat, so perhaps, you know. That's what I'm hoping. Dealt with his tissue before, so he could do it again. Yeah. We're mostly just going to the lake anyway. So it'll probably just be like a bunch of Triton. Mm-hmm. All right. And we're going to be pirates. <laughs> That's quite the switch. Yeah. You're gonna be pirates? Yeah, we have to go steal this trident from Umberly. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a whole thing about these druids making like storms and stuff to ambush other pirates and then shipwreck them and this other pirate crew well, that Jack used, Jacks used to be in wants us to like go and steal a trident so that she can go and like get rid of the druids. This whole thing. Oh. Huh. Well, um, honestly, it'd be all right. Ooh. Her power on this realm is limited. She can only access it uh, for short bursts of time, so as long as you avoid her when she does apparate, you, you should be alright. Yeah. I have a question. If So, I know Elsnil can come in here. Because she said she already had one time mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. Can she also just, like, reach into bags of holding? Um... <laughs> No, not really. Mm, okay, interesting. Because this is a shared dimension, right? Like, you yeah. come in here, I come in here. Um, look at this vessel mm -hmm. as your own little private studio in the elemental plane of air. Mm -hmm. So technically, in your case, even though we're inside the confines of your vessel, we're connected to that plane, which is a plane where she can access into. If you go... Bags of holding... Or... or uh, Other pocket dimensions like that, they are... Only accessible by one person, and forever will only be accessible by that one person that created it. Whereas you, you know... In time, if you grow more powerful, you can you can get your friends to come in here. You already have the power to summon me in here, you know what I mean? It's, it works a little yeah. differently. Okay. 
just checking because part of the plan was putting the trident in the bag of holding. Mm hmm. What, and you're scared that. I was just, I was worried because I know, like, this is accessible, so I didn't know how it was different. No. A bag of holding should be safe from uh, anyone's reach besides whoever owns the bag of holding. Excellent. This, even, even this place is, is safe. Um,. To a certain degree, I suppose. Then again, Elsnell is very powerful and wouldn't quite call her a god, but she's she's demigod. Mm. It's like apt way of putting it, and uh, a devious one at that. She says that reminds her of her. <laughs> yeah, I can I can see that. You're both little shits. <laughs> that was basically it. Oh yeah, also my dad said he could teach me how to make vessels at some point. That is very powerful stuff, but yeah. yeah. That would be cool. It all depends. It's the... where your power takes you. Obviously, when you were born, there was more elemental in you than there was... Elven, in your case, uh, which explains the um, the look, but also your connection to me and this plane. Um, that can be built upon, yeah. It's going to be hard and a lot of work, but it's it's possible, yeah. Oh, okay. That was it, mostly. All right. Have a good night. Good night. When you say his neck hurts, mm. was he coughing, vomiting, did he, anything, anything of the sorts? I think he might have coughed a little bit, but nothing else. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to have to look into some things. You have a good okay. night, okay? Yep, thanks. And he'll give you like a little, little head pat, and then... Phew, Disappears. Yep. Yep, that's it. Nice. Alright. Nice. So do you uh stay in the vessel and go to bed, Cass, or Yeah. Anyone else have any I have a question. Hello. Because like the other vessel, you made Brooks hold while you're in it. This vessel's your necklace. Hmm. So what when you go into it, has your necklace just like dropped on the ground if we're walking? Do we need to pick it up? Like Um, she usually like takes it off and then puts it down on a table and just as like she Okay puts it on the table. She so did you wait till we were back at the carafe or something then before talking to Blue? I this isn't a yeah. walking and talk okay. All good. That makes sense though. I thought you did while we were like walking back there. And all of a sudden, just, like, <laughs> I admit, I out. thought the so, same like... thing, Laura. <laughs> nope. Uh anything anybody wants to do before they head to bed for the night? Yes. Okay. I want to get very fucking drunk. Nice. nice uh, I have uh, another journal entry I would write for it. Maybe I'll cast in her vessel. I'll just okay. be writing in my journal, but I just do that on my own time. All right. Brooke is going to get very drunk. Um, Is there anyone in the carafe that I recognize? Make a perception check. Natural one. Nope. <laughs> okay, cool. You I'm gonna recognize your own friends. That's fair. Brooks has had a lot to drink at this point already. <laughs> um, he's gonna hit on one of the bar stuff, I guess, and see how that goes. <laughs> Poor Lithiant. Probably. Make, make, a he's very drunk. make a charisma check. Make a charisma check. Uh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> just straight charisma. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. There's one individual, the same waiter that waited your table. He seems receptive. Hell yeah. I'm assuming that Brooks has drank quite a lot, and I don't know what happens next, so we'll find out when we wake up. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Cut to black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll find out in the morning. <clears throat> in the morning. He's stolen all your gold. Right. Uh, <laughs> nice. Nice merchant. Um... 
if that's all, over then you all you have a knife in the back. Have a, a good night's sleep. You all long rest Again. and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah. And it is now the next day, relatively early in the morning, because you know you all have like a long day of traveling ahead of you. Yeah. Um, Brooks. Uh, you wake up a little like wake up at like like five or six, to the sound of of this this individual leaving your bed, getting dressed, and just fucking off out uh -huh. the room, and then you pass back out again. Okay, didn't even say goodbye. That's fine. Whatever. Nope. You're, apparently, you weren't good. You weren't <laughs> that good. Place the of of <laughs> yeah, it's more that like you're in his fucking. That's place true. Of work, yeah, right? like he's, we're he's, in his place like, of work. Oh, That's probably God, fairly sketchy. God. Uh, and you wake up like a few the hours later. The walk of shame again. past all of your colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> and you, uh, yeah, you wake up a few oh. hours later, ready for the day. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna Drew, get a really nice breakfast. Oh, mm -hmm. Doesn't happen that often. And I want to go to a magic shop. Okay. I want to go to a magic. Uh, the magic shop in. Eldilon is the uh, pocket dimension. App's name just talks about pocket dimensions and stuff. Fun. Yeah, uh, you've been there before. Uh, what are you looking for, good sir? Cloaks. Cloaks. Two in particular. Either or both. Cloak of elven kind and mm. a nature's mantle. Mm. I thought you said cloaks for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've seen people hit on people in what, weird places. What's the other one? Nature's mantle. God bless for you to actually have looked into what items you're looking for. It makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's more fun to have you choose items, though. I DM'd you about that one a long time ago, but I didn't actually tell you what it was. So I was just like, oh, I found this cloak. It's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Uh, they have both in stock. The cloak of elven mm -hmm. kind has a two hundred gold price tag on it. The nature's mantle mm -hmm. has a one hundred and fifty gold price tag on it. Oh. Okay. 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 How cheap are you? I, I can afford it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just got fifty. Siphon yeah. bonus. Which one do you want more? Keep in mind, we need to buy jungle remedy. No, Siren's taking care of that. Oh, Siren's doing yeah. that. All right. I will. She said. She Although we do need to buy some water breathing potions. She said she could give you uh, like arrange like probably some kind of like big discount. Uh, didn't say it was going to be free entirely, but. That's they're not very it. they're very similar, but just like the nature's mantle is a little bit more like niche. Um. Elvenkind and Nature's Mantle, um... Well, it's, they're similar. Elvenkind makes yeah. it so that people have a disadvantage on perception checks to try and see you, whereas uh, the Nature's Mantle I, I just I... makes you able to hide as a bonus action, which... Kind of cool. Mechanically works a little differently. I like the Nature's Mantle yeah, because you, can, you can use it as like a fucking spellcasting spell. Spellcasting focus, spell. yeah. It's pretty dope, yeah. yeah. I've also never heard of that one. I will. I'll take the nature's it's a, mantle. Well, it's a Tasha's golden one. Uh, I'll take the nature's mantle and and see if there's anyone around to sort of buy. It. It's like I've got it. I've got it on a coat hanger and I'm going to the checkout. I don't know. How does this work? Um, there'll be there'll be ample staff to 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 help you with that. So one of them approaches you. Have you um made a decision, good sir? Yeah, I think I, I think I want the uh. The, the mantle, if that's all right. I'm just thinking, you very know. Very good, very good. Um, you are aware a, that, a man um, of my profession. That, uh, you are aware that it uh, requires uh, attunement before you're able to fully use this, this uh, item? What exactly does that entail? Well, that just means that um, whenever you next take a break from, you know, given by the look of you, a bit of a bit of the mercenary type, right? Am I well, yeah, assuming? Yeah. Um, so next time you, you take a bit of a break from your your adventures and just you know a, a short a short rest if you will, uh, mm. just focus on you know get to know the mantle. Let the magic inside the mantle speak to you, I suppose, and connect with your inner you know uh, inner arcane abilities. Let, let them match and just spend some time right. with it. And you'll be yeah. right. Right. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, that's fine. Now, so it says 150 on the on the price tag, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if maybe we could shave that down a little bit if you're you know open to haggling. Well, how much are you willing to offer? Oh, uh, how how does how does 125 sound? Make a persuasion check. Oh no. Oh, I don't like that. Eight. Mm. Roll the natural two. Oh! <laughs> I suppose I can do that. I'm 125, uh, 125 perfect. Perfect. You, you're, you're a gentleman and a scholar. And I will uh, take out 12 platinum mm -hmm. and five gold coins. Yeah. No. You get your 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 mantle and uh, you get to go. Beautiful, thanks very much. No problem. Come again. Now to add it to my inventory. Okay, all right, that's oh, all. Yeah. I'm good. Nice. Anyone else doing? Uh... Well, okay, hold on, Jax. Since you're the only yes. one at the friendly giants, yeah, you'll wake up to see uh, Sirin uh, sitting at one of the tables. Um, she approaches you. Is anyone else here? Uh, no, they're all at the craft. Oh, right. Um, well, I talked to Father Ackle about um, the, the jungle remedies. He is willing to provide um, 14 remedies each. So enough for each and every one of you for two weeks. Um, normally they go for about pretty much a, a lot of money, but given the things you've helped us, the, the city with and, and the things you've uh, helped him with in the temple, um, he is willing to say 50 gold and next time the temple needs a bit of help that he can count on you and your group. I, I would imagine the group would be just fine with that. But, um... Are you going to pick them up now? What what were you going to do with your day? Uh, yeah, I can, I can go pick them up. I, I have to make a stop at the uh, armorers and then uh, I, I think the magic shop real quick. And then um, do you mind if I accompany them? You? Uh, absolutely, if you'd like. Of course. Okay. Uh, so you, uh, what are you what are you looking for at uh, both places? Okay. So well, I guess I had Father Ackles. I'll pick up the remedies. So that's mm -hmm. is that fifty gold for all of them or fifty gold per person for the fifty 14? gold for all of them, and basically okay. like an uh, uh, like a. Next time Temple is in two. trouble, I can call upon your group IOU type yep. thing. <laughs> okay. okay. Just marking that down before I forget. Okay. Um, at the armors, I'm looking to pay the other 750 gold for the plate armor. Okay. So I will uh, mark that down as well. Nice. 75 platinum? Yes. Okay. And then... Yeah, plate armor... And then I want to, ah, shit. Uh, I want to look for water breathing potions. Okay. At the magic shop. Let's see how much those are. Uh, they are marked for 100 gold each. 100 gold each. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's a lot. Um, it's just not like I... spent like a thousand gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that was like it's different. Okay, fuck off. But um, wait, wait, make um. Make a perception check. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. You also, as you're kind of looking around in that same aisle of like water related items, see things that are labeled um, cap of water breathing, which catches your eye. How much would that be? Uh, these are marked 150 each, but. Um, I don't know. Are you going to ask anyone what, what they do <laughs> before I say too much? 
Uh, yeah, sure. I'll I'll I'll, I'll ask an employee. Uh, could you tell me what this does? Of course. Um, that there is a cap of water breathing. What it does is uh, you say a command word um, to create a bubble of air around your head, and it allows you to breathe normally underwater uh, indefinitely. Um, if I were to buy six of these, uh, could we maybe do six for a hundred gold apiece? So six hundred total. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> I don't even... Oh, that's a natural 20, baby. Of course. That's uh, quite the big uh, order. I would gladly give you a bit of a bulk discount on that one. Uh, that would be splendid. Um, And then could I get uh, four ba uh, d health potions as well? Just the normal ones? Uh, yes, please. And it's uh, 35 gold each, so it'll be 140. 140. Actually... You're all the natural 20. Given that you're, you know, you're already spending so much money, I'll, I'll happily provide you with these four potions for free. That would be splendid. Gotta reward I... your natural 20 somehow, dude. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate this. It's fine. Don't worry about it. How the all fuck right. does this shop still run? Because <laughs> there's a massive fucking markup on everything they sell. Yeah, that's true. Mm, that's true. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yup. It costs them about five gold to make it. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but like healing potions especially, like they're not really hard yeah. to make. The ingredients are very fucking common. It's just you need to know how to make them and not many people do. <laughs> That's fair. So they can charge whatever the frick they want. Frick you want. Whatever the frick they want. Alright, so you have uh six caps of water water breathing. Uh which basically yep. yeah, makes gives you a little little air bubble around your head and just like those old, like those old school, like diver helmets, just made of like an air bubble. Oh, that's so sweet. I love those things. And All they right. do not uh, require attunement, which is also very nice. You can just fucking wear them whenever the fuck you want. Dope. All right. Well, that's uh, that's it for me, I think. Okay. Um. All right. Um. Do you did did you want to leave um as soon as we get your friends, or uh, I my friends, they, our friends, uh, are we friends? Uh, our friends, I would say. Unless you and Eliza are more than friends. Friends, <laughs> friends. ah, this is what the kids are saying these days, okay. Kids? <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a child. Oh, I mean, you're very young. Uh, Compared to you, anybody is. Well, you don't have to be rude. It's a bit of... I, 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 they taught me this thing called banter. Is that not... Is that not something you partake in? Anyways, um... <laughs> into the carafe. <laughs> mini, 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 mini. <laughs> meanwhile at the carafe. Yeah, meanwhile at the carafe. While, uh, while that's all happening and they're shopping and whatnot. What are you guys doing? <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, Kess wanted to... Mentioned wanting to get new clothes. Yeah, uh, and as soon as as soon as she possibly can, she'll have already been downstairs like having breakfast. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd probably just go clothes shopping with Kes because I don't have anything else pressing to do. Okie dokie. Yeah, I just want to go get some clothes and uh, healing potions, and that's it. I will probably come down to the halfway through breakfast. But you want to get, get a healing potion as well, uh, Kes? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that'll be 35. What kind of clothes are you looking for? Pirate. She just wants pirate clothes. <laughs> well, but she this is what I was saying. She wants like clothes that look very piratey. Yeah. But are you gonna yeah. just carry them around for a month? Because we're not- well, She'll have to wait for them to be made, so by the time she comes back, uh, Mr. DM. Okay. Hello. Brooks knows a tailor in Outlaw, yeah? Yeah. Oh okay. no. So, <laughs> I mean, I- Bell, what are you scratching? Sorry, I'm- Bandaging my wrist, and I didn't realize that my She's falling apart again. <laughs> She's falling apart. Did, we, did someone have the receipts? Did she ever stop? <laughs> can we so return her again? Can one? we return Bell? <laughs> Putting her arm <on> back on. <laughs> and also, we'll get like an older uh, version. Yeah, just, like, just Bruce, out of all people, has the most experience in Eldilon and knows that for tailoring and stuff. For like any crafts, the, the Crafters Union is the place to go. Yeah. Hmm. Is there a specific tailor that I've been to there before? Because I've been here long enough that I've had to have 
before someone could fucking just magically fix it eventually. Um, like, yes. And shit. Hold on. As Dutch pulls out a list of names and arbitrarily decides which one I have a rapport with. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Taylor's Guild. Uh, you know of Emma. Uh, Emma Wright R Rittingham. Sorry. Uh, okay. She uh, is the owner of the guild shop called the Glowing Cape. Uh, very, Glowing very, Cape. very young but very talented Taylor. Okay, uh, I will basically explain that I know a tailor and I want to go get some clothes anyway. I will probably get a decent discount, maybe, but at the very least, I know it's good work. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to come and get some clothes or are you going to fuck off and find some shitty back alley tailor bullshit? Why would I do that? <laughs> That doesn't even remotely make sense. Because I know you and anything I expect you to do and is the sensible option, you'll choose the other one, so. I never do that. Huh. Sure. And I'm sober all of the time. <laughs> Touché. Okay, I will lead. Okay. Then... Dagon's coming with this as well. How often would you say you've you Brooks has, has gone there? Oh god. Um How long have I been out long before there? Uh That was the first place you went when you got off the about, boat. About I mean absolutely like a good tailor. <laughs> no. The first thing Brooks found off the boat was a Alcohol. puppy liked. <laughs> the second thing he found off the boat was a good tailor. Uh in the last couple of months, probably about three or four times. Okay. This suit is probably actually you know, he would have ditched the clothes that he had when he came over mm -hmm. for reasons I'm not going to elaborate on. Um, for reasons so unknown. So this suit's probably made by, by Emma. Okay, no, fair enough. Just to, just so that I have an idea of, uh, of that. Cool. Uh, so you make your way to uh, the craft union and enter the, like, big structure that has all the guilds and their shops uh, inside. Uh, you make your way to the glowing cape, and you can see Emma already. Um, early twenties, um, human uh, woman, long brown braids, uh, green eyes, um, pale white skin, um, pretty short lady, about five foot three. Uh, but you also know she has an extra finger on her right hand, which she claims helps her with her tailoring and her sewing to make her extra precise, and this is why. Her clothing is among the best in the new world. Who am I to judge? <laughs> My man's out here the hiding horns. <clears throat> True. Good I morning. What can I do for you? Emma, how are you? Doing alright, doing alright. See that uh, my craftsmanship is... Uh... Well, it's looking a little... Flat. It's lost a bit of it's, its sheen, but... Uh... Still wearing it, so I must have done something right. It's been mended a lot of times. I've been stabbed. I can tell. I can tell. I feel like that was that that wounded me a bit more than than you intentionally meant. I think. Well, it wounded me that you had someone magically fix it instead of bringing it back to the person who made it to fix it for I you. I was in the <laughs> middle of the jungle. I wasn't gonna wear walk around wearing something that you made for me in a state. What if someone had seen me and looked at your craftsmanship with a big cut in my blood down the front of it? Understandable. Right, so, anyway, what can I do for you? Right, uh, these two first, I guess, and then, and then me. Alright, ladies. I need pirate clothes. Pirate clothes, so like the flowy, white, like, yep. like linen shirt, some, some nice leather pants, and maybe a belt exactly. to hold all of your... Yeah, I can do that, um... How, how soon, you know, how high priority is it? How soon do you want it? Because that determines how much I charge. Uh, you got like a couple of weeks. I'm not oh, going to be a pirate very right. soon. Um, would you like a nice hat as well? You know, yes. Big, big hat, feather. Yes. Of course. All right. Um, yeah, I can do that. Um, so the whole outfit... Given that, uh, I can basically work on it in my own time, because I have ample time for that. Um, it's like two gold pieces will cover it, to be fair. Did we lose Belle? Yep. 
Oh, oh yeah, for the that. best. What a great position ever. of reason. Love it. She's actually, made you... she's had to unplug her computer in a panic because her wrist has just fallen off. That's why she's oh taping God. it up. She's taping it up to hold her hand on. Bell. Oh boy. Red bell. bell. She had a Mrs. Potato Head mishap where, like, you know, you drop a potato and like, when I die, that's off. how I want to go out. <laughs> like, what? just falling just, apart. Just. It, into a blur and it just fade into nothing. You know, like <laughs> fuck. God damn it. She's, oh, she's on top while of the we world. wait for Belle to come back. <laughs> yes. Um. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Dead. I jinxed it. Dead. <laughs> Good one. Right. While we wait for Belle to come uh, back. <laughs> while we while we wait for Belle to come back. Mm hmm. Uh, Dagon, I don't suppose that you're planning on buying any pirate-themed clothes as well. Nope. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, oh. fuck her. I think she's gone. Yeah, okay. Kes just has and a stroke. And with that, Kes like... died. Kes just spontaneously teleported yeah. into her vessel, Bell? and we all know what happened. I, I think I'm back. Hello? Hold on. But way delayed? Fucking delayed. Delay, but... Jesus fuck. Yeah. This one. Yeah, it'll catch hey, Belle, up. Just because it'll be funny, clap for us. Won't that hurt her hand? <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was even funny. funnier. You that was one, funnier man. than I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I don't know what you, what you heard uh, before you got cut off, but uh, about two, the hat, and that was it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> two gold for the whole outfit. Uh, we'll cover it. Okay, we'll cover cool. it. Cool. Dagon doesn't want to get any clothes. Nope. Not even not even a pirate hat. Especially not a pirate hat. What about what about a bandana? Be nice. I'll maybe do a bandana. Right, let's let's get Dagon a bandana because it'll be funny. Um any any color preference? Any any, you know, designs, motifs? Um I I'll take out my journal and show her the page that has those three drawings on it. Um mm -hmm. That has the um, words. What are their actual names? The Hold on. I need to pull up. I need to pull up the document I sent to Dutch. The lion, the witch, and the it's wardrobe. It's tranquil, 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 <laughs> tranquil dunes, bright caverns, and something else. Hold on. Why does this sound like a Skrillex song? Okay, so yeah, it's the pictures of the everlasting peaks, tranquil dunes, and bright caverns. Show oh. her that journal sketch. Do you want um, the entire thing? Or just some like elements I just, from it. I just shrug, and just I don't know. It's gonna be a challenge, but um, I'm assuming you're on the same time frame as your friend here. Several weeks. Yeah, we're not, all on yes. the same. All right. Um, not sure about the price. Fully depends on how many times I have to retry because it seems quite complicated and complex. But um, and yeah. I, I also point to to my ears. And then just right. like this, like holes for the ears. Yes, I can do that. I can do that. Okay. Um, not sure on the price. Just yet. I'll be honest. Um, but like one gold will probably cover it uh, because it's not it's not big, but it is quite intricate. Mm -hmm. um, sure. One gold. We'll say one gold. And if I if I under under underboard it here or lowboard it here, yeah. then that's my loss. I'll hand her a gold. Um, Brooks, anything for you? Okay, so I have two things. The mm -hmm. first is fairly simple, the second not so much. Alright. So, number one, I want something a bit more comfortable if we're going to be on a ship. I don't think a suit jacket's going to necessarily be appropriate. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, some nice, comfortable baggy trousers that Iron shirts and you know, just like a nice padded shirt or something. Sure. Uh, and then the second thing, which is where it gets a little more complicated. And I'm gonna get on my journal. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start showing her a, like a very rough sketch that I've done. Um, essentially, what it is is it's it's a it's a black suit, mm -hmm. very very similar to what Brooks has now. Yeah. But on the the back of the suit, on the inside, there's uh, four buttons, 
Uh, there's like a top and a bottom where there's like extra fabric that's held in by the buttons and when you unbutton it there is like a hood and like a longer cloak so that like it's a suit that could also be sneaking around clothes. Interesting. Lots of work but it's not impossible. It's going to be a little more pricey if, though. If it works it could be a very popular idea that you're going to be the first person to make. That is true. Um, for the whole order. How much are you gonna sting me for? Come on. For the whole order, including the you know the baggy pants and the the shirt, and then that piece of work, um, four gold. I'll flick a replacement. All right, well. All right. Uh, same time frame, few weeks. Yeah, yeah, we'll be. Okay. We're we're heading out of city for a while, so as you know, as long as it's not done within like two-ish weeks, we'll be back maybe a little later than then. Alright, I'll make sure that it's uh, finished in about I don't know, two, maybe three weeks. That sounds fine. Uh, obviously the suit is you know, like, lowest priority, like comfy clothes and her shit first please, but... Alright. That's good. Okay. Perfect. Well, if that's everything, then I wish you all uh, safe travels and um, yeah, we'll be in, we'll, you know. I'll start working Appreciate on it. Appreciate you, and, as uh, always. No worries, no worries. And... Let's go. Potions. Potions. Magic things. Yes. So Explosives. you make your way to the pocket dimension. Just wave at the other two as we walk past them. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Wait, if I see you guys... Good. Uh, well, you went to the temple first, and they went to the... Yeah, there's a good chance that you kind of arrive We'd at the pocket up, dimension yeah. at, like, the same time, yeah. Oh, I have something for you guys. Hmm? I'll hand them both what? caps. So all three of them? Is it a stylish cap? Or all three of them, yeah. It's like, um... <laughs> it's like something that goes around questions. your neck, and it has, like, a little, like, piece of, um... Like a like a like a piece of is it like a fancy version of a COVID mask? Well, yes and no. Like but also, kind of yes, but instead of like around the ears, it goes around the neck. Yeah. Uh, well, and basically, the idea is that as soon as you put it on, yeah. put it on your face and say the com say command word that you decide, this like air bubble just appears yeah. around your head. Oh, what is this? A light breathe underwater. Because it's easier to us? have this than to buy potions, because it's pretty close to the same price. I, I I just take a handful of coins and hold them out to <laughs> Jax, asking if he wants some money for them. How much is she holding out? Uh, it's, I I just reached in here. I'll try to just roll a dice. Grab that fist. I'm rolling. I'm rolling two d6s, one for it's gold, electrum. one for platinum. We'll see. It's where... electrum. Oh shit! I'm taking. Wait, it. Um... I also have some silver coins, so I should also roll a dice for them too, and we'll see which one each wins. Okay. I'm just gonna start reading. I am holding Jackson out. Electrum. I'm holding <laughs> out two gold, two platinum, and one silver from the random <laughs> smash in my hand. He'll take the two platinum and the gold. Okay, so two platinum and two gold. Slightly less poor now. <laughs> <laughs> My man didn't ask me for any money back, so he's not gonna ask. Okay, so you all now have a uh, cap of I think it was called a cap of water breathing. Let me quickly double check. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, D &D yeah, yeah. It, yeah. Everyone should be able to yeah. put it in their inventory. Cool. Oh yeah, I should add it to my D and D Beyond. Because yeah, I'll give you one should. Everyone. Cap of water breathing, which uh, does not require attunement. So it is just put it on, say command word, bubble around head. The command word is Alter Smasher. Hey. Pretty, pretty, sure pretty sure you don't get to choose. Pretty I just sure. did, bitch, so suck my fucking dick. <laughs> just because he doesn't get to choose doesn't mean that we don't know that we know that. Like So this is true. I hate it when we go into the intricacies of like, yeah, but do we know that we know when we know if we know it? Like it's do, we meta. Attune, do we need to attune to it? No. No. Okay. It's not no. required attunements. And again, it, it just works. It just works. Some, some, <laughs> somehow, sometimes, it just works. It's almost as if by magic. 
Yeah, it's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, uh, how many points in my D and D? Never. Um, I'll take. How much are they? Like thirty-five for the normal, like base ones. Thirty-five. Yeah, for the base and ones. And then how much are those a greater? Oh, that's like two. I think it was like two fifty last time you said it. Two hundred fifty gold. Two fifty. Two fifty. Take pricey. Uh, yeah, just take four normal ones. So this will be one hundred and forty gold. Some of it's in platinum. Sure. How much? As long as you, uh, yes. you know, make sure that one hundred and forty gold worth of currency leaves your DNA beyond, we're good to go. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. Oh, I've got um, to do that. I hate that. Magic shoppy. Yeesh. Uh, I have, I mean, I have a couple of items that I will look for, and if they're not there, then they're not there, and I don't give a shit. Uh, do they have uh, a parapet of wound closure? A who? Periapt of wound closure. Periapt of, of wound closure. Or a luck stone. Or an amulet of the drunkard. Oh my oh god. god. That mm. amulet sounds great. It is. Dutch was like, it's so much easier when everyone looks a Python, so I looked a Python. <laughs> Rather than being like, what have they got that interests me? See, I like a doing luck that. Stone, that's you spot. said, and Yeah. And the last one was an amulet of the drunkard. Amulet of the drunkard. Okay, let me have a look see. Uh, they have all three, yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. How much of money is the uh, luck stone or the stone of good luck, as it uh, says here? Um, mm -hmm. Would be 220 gold. And so the, 22 platinum, yeah. The periapt of wound closure. Um. would be 400 gold okay the amulet of the drunkard <laughs> that's fucking hilarious uh, <laughs> yeah it is <laughs> it's fucking great uh 300 gold pieces 300 oh, okay well i'm immediately getting the amulet of the drunkard nice uh which is three. and then you said it was 220 for the luck, for the luck stone. stone, yeah. And 400 for the wound closure? Yes. Ah, do I get the luck stone? I feel like my rolls are always either great or shit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if plus one is going to be that useful to me. Ah, I fuck it. Uh, and, I mean, I'm definitely getting the amulet, which means I can't get the wound closure. Okay. So I'm getting the amulet of the drunkard and the luck stone? I'm not going to get the Luck Stone. Okay. I'm going to get the Amulet of the Drunkard. Okay. Um, Do they have any frag grenades? Because I'm pretty sure this is where I bought them last time. Uh, oh. They do. Okay. Um, Hold on. Save those for the sea witch. <laughs> Fuck you, sea bitch! <laughs> Just puts up a wave wall. <laughs> And she just diffuses the grenade and it doesn't go off. It just gets <laughs> wet. It just makes it roll back to him. <laughs> like Moana with the stuff. With the fucking Let me see. Except your tent now. This video, it's funny. Oh my god, what the fuck? Um... This is where it would have been helpful if I'd written down how much they were last. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait. I used the fucking. I need to find this fucking document that I. I used the. Um... It's in the DMG, I think. Or did you use the arcane artillery one? Yeah. Do you want to get back to me on that at some point? Hold on, hold on. Just give me, give me, give me a quick sec. Okay. Just give me a quick sec. Give me a quick sec. Because I fucking, I have the fucking Artane Artillery, Artane, 
Arcane Artillery fucking... Google Doc. Google Doc. Because we used it for... Soko um, in Campaign no, 1. Oh, wait, what do, you, what do you need to know from it? Fucking base price for, like, normal frag grenades. Ah, uh, I don't remember because I crafted mine. Hold yeah, on. but... I mean... Don't worry, that's something that Brooks is going to approach Jax about at some point. Hang on, I've got... Firearms... There should be like a whole thing about explosives. And there was... Hold on. Sorry guys, I'm... this is a uh, good... Just give me a sec. I'm pretty sure they... Table... Attachment... New... No. Dude. Do, 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 do. Is it in the magic items right at the bottom? Uh, Probably. Could be. Mm. No, I don't think it is. I don't know. Okay. I, I'll, I'll look. I'll look up in, during the break. I don't know. I want to say it was fine. like 150, 200, but I could be wrong. Nah, they were cheaper, but like, whatever. They were it, cheaper than that, but it's yeah, fine. Yeah, I'll look we'll figure it out. I, I, we'll figure it out. So uh, And then hold. after break, I'll either buy some mothers or I'll buy some potion. Yeah, exactly. Okay, cool. Um, I mean, we, let's just say that uh, we go on break now then, because it's pretty much almost two hours anyway, and we can I can figure yeah. that shit out. And then, uh, I haven't rolled a cigarette yet. Oh, tough titties. <laughs> uh, so we'll be, we'll be right back, guys. Sorry, I... I Thought I had everything prepared, but I guess I didn't because it's, it's all good. I fucked it. Good. <laughs> By the way, my mom says hi to everyone. Hi, Bell's oh, no. mom. Hey. Yeah. Right, we'll be we right back. Watch gamers. Your be a moron. Take care. Brush your hair. See you guys in like like tennis minutes. <laughs> after the break, we'll have a new better Twitch TV emote in the chat. We shall see. Monkeys. What was Jealous. that? Just period. Huh? <laughs> we want we want to get a good photo of Koiba's dad, what? like doing a sexy photo, and put it behind Koiba in oh the background. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> Please. Fine, just just like on like a, a framed poster. Oh, just like a pinup, like fucking yeah. pose and everything. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guess what? Fight like a, like a rugby ball or something <laughs> covering. Get him to do a cricket one with just like a fucking cricket back. Maybe a body pu body pillow though. Thoughts? Oh my god, Koiba's dad. Leave my pillow? family alone, you bunch of degenerate fucks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, all right. You uh, oh, fragmentation grenades <laughs> are going to be. It got approved. Why is it not in seventy-five yeah, gold god. a pop starting now? And we're gonna actually make that consistent. Okay. Uh, or how many I will buy two. <laughs> okay. And I'll buy one of the basic bitch healing potions, which were 35. 35 gold. Yeesh. Okay. Um, right. I'm buying a lot of stuff. Can I get a discount? No. You ask after you already put the money away, like took the money off of your fucking account, therefore you paid. <laughs> okay, counterpoint. We had a break in between. Mm, right. <laughs> that just gives you longer it to works. think about your actions. True. I've paid for everything else. Can I convince- I haven't taken the money for the healing potion yet. Can I convince them to throw it in? Make a persuasion check. That one. Uh, six. Holly rolls. Six. Cast forehead is officially in chat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no. Yes. You cannot. That was a bad roll for me. Okay, I'll pay for it anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's fine. I can heal off drinking alcohol now, so. That's true. You can. <laughs> I can All right. from drinking. With oh. that, uh, everyone has done their shopping <laughs> and stuff. Everyone has uh, their uh, supplies they needed. Um, We got the jungle remedy, right? Yeah, Jack's with the pick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me oh, hand those out to you guys. You guys have 14 of each. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should buy some healing potions of my own. <laughs> Probably. Peer pressure. <laughs> Well, if I get hurt, I'm, what am I just going to be like? Oh, no, I, guys, I didn't buy potions. I bought a cape. Can I have <laughs> one of yours? <laughs> uh, let me just check something real quick. I'm going to... At the... The shop, the magic shop, the uh, pocket of... The whole, the what pocket is it called? Yeah. 
pocket dimension. <clears throat> I'm going to see if they have some restorative ointment. Oh. Hold on. For your STIs. <laughs> yeah, my no, cut rots enough from all the rusty cutlass. So I'm going to see if I can restore it. That's why you don't wash your dick when you bathe in jungle waters. You what? How do you what? Are you going to submerge <laughs> your entire you body except your, whole your body dick? Without your dick, you would just put a sock on it. Because <laughs> water doesn't penetrate fabric. Like a fabric like, one, like a all. swimming sock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, like a, no, you just put a there. No, no need. Like, what? <laughs> you you get the bag of holding. <laughs> Bag of holding that's slightly sticky inside from all the jacks is also like. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they Activity. do have restorative no. ointments. They do. It's going to be hella expensive, isn't it? Uh, that'll be like a hundred gold a pop, you know. That's tough, man. A hundred gold a pop. Let me quickly have a look at how many doses you're getting. If I can afford it, which I just can, <laughs> just. Oh. But do yeah, I get to know how many doses I'm getting? Can yeah, I roll? It'll be part of the sales pitch. Um, I okay. mean, if you want to roll, I just rolled, and it's pretty pretty good for you. So, I mean, I'll, I'll if you rolled, you rolled. I'll take uh, it. But... I rolled. Um, they will have four doses, so you can use it four times, which yep. definitely makes it a lot cheaper than buying four healing potions that do less. Yes, but it's also an action to use. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Hundred gold. Okay. <sighs> So you have a resort of ointment that has four doses in the jar. Fucking Christ, I have three gold to my name. I'm so glad we got that advance. <laughs> Holy fuck. All right. Ugh. You good? Me? <laughs> yeah, right. I'm me. poor. <laughs> yeah, but you bought We're a swaggy poor. new cape, dude. Yeah, but you're asset rich, though. <laughs> Of course, the fucking cleric of Joaquin would be like, "Oh, but we're asset, asset rich." <laughs> yes, yeah, my. Uh... It's about putting your money into investments. My eyes are yeah, well seeing, and my cape or my nature's mantle. I was at least Jack's like, like, ass rich, so you know. Koi is <laughs> poor in morality and friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh, right. why? So but he's rich uh... in the alcoholism. Are you are you heading out? Are you are you leaving yes. the city? Yes. Right. I'm going to the stable. Let's go. Get our nice. horses. Pepper and I'm caramel. No, no caramel. Caramel. I'm just drinking tea. <laughs> just like people come here. <laughs> no, Jack. Um. Well, okay. Do, do you go to pick up Elijah first? Nah, he can stay here for the rest of his life. <laughs> Where is he? I'm just the craft. I don't know if I can left. I was like. Well, uh -huh. we're not all together. I was figuring I was bringing the horse to the carafe since that's where we all stayed, right? So, okay. yeah, that's where I was headed. I'll see you. Okay. I'll see you. So you uh, yeah. so you, you get the horses. There's enough feed in there to last them like another month or so. Uh, you, you got to top up. Um, you're at the carafe, but gang's all here. Siren is accompanying yeah. you. Um, you heading out? Are we yeah. all ready to go? Mm -hmm. Before yes. We leave. On ah. Uh, on the way out of the city, can we make a very quick stop at a friends of mine's? What's in it for me? Potentially a bottle of beer. A drink while we're out there in the room. Yeah, fuck it. Perfect. Where, where, where do they live? Uh, I want to go to the brewery, Dutch. The brew holder brewery. Okay. Um. Yes. Uh, brew holder, brewery and distillery, whatever the fuck. I think it was, it was that. That um, is the exact name of it. There you go. Look at that. I know my own creations, guys. I swear. Um, well, you know that Rakito lives uh, near the Friendly Giants. You know that the brewery is um, near the near the trade district. So it's depending on uh, its business hours. So you reckon he probably will be at the brewery? Cool. Doing by the brewery. Okay. As you walk in, uh, you see Rakito. Uh, Minotaur, shaved down horns, uh, like big like ring in his nose. Uh, wearing this like brown cloth uh, tunic. Good morning, Brachito, you beautiful, glorious bastard. How are you doing? Oh, what do you want this time? Oh, always so standoffish. Never excited to see a friend. Uh, 
Uh, a couple of requests actually. We're heading out for quite a while. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to buy a decent amount of ooze without necessarily paying in prices. Yeah, understandable. You know, for for all time's sake. Um, sure, sure, sure. If you have any bare ingredients kicking about that I can potentially take off your hands, like some some honey, some hops, that sort of shit. Not trying to get competitive, are you? No, 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 no. I mean... No, but a man does what he needs to do when we're in the middle of fucking nowhere. That's fair enough, yeah. Uh, how, how many bottles and what booze do you do you want, first of all? What have you got kicking around that's not too shitty and not too... But not too expensive. A lot of rum, a lot of whiskey, a lot of, you know, I mean, if you want a keg of ale, I can provide you with a keg of ale. It's just, you know, you're going to have to haul a keg around, but... We can all as a group drink a keg of ale before we get somewhere where we'll enter the card ride, lads. Oh, yeah, we have the card, so... Uh, how much is going to run me for a keg of ale and a couple of bottles of whiskey and a couple of bottles of whatever? Uh, for the keg, that'll be about... You're buying it from me and not from an inn. Oh, I thought, like, like, five gold for the whole keg. It's quite a big one. Um, bottles of booze, like four silver a pop. I'll get. You said he had whiskey and what else, sir? Rum, whiskey, and uh, he also mentioned the keg of ale. Okay. Uh, for four silver each. Uh huh. Uh, I will get. Uh, four bottles of whiskey. Uh, four bottles of rum. And then the fucking egg. Uh, so, 16, 32, so... Eight gold, two silver altogether. Oh, it's called eight gold then. Perfect. Uh, how much do you want for the ingredients? I want uh, enough honey to start making some mead. Mm. And then, well, how much uh, how much mead are you wanting to make, first of all? Uh, thinking about how much I can reason to carry and the fact that I'm already making coffee liqueur. Let's say 10 bottles of mead, why not? 10 bottles, uh, ingredients-wise, one gold should cover it all. Cool. I'll give him that, and I'll give him another gold as well. Uh, yeah, um... Yeah, that's. I think that's everything we need. Um, I am working on something interesting though that I might have to save a bit for you to try when we come back. That's so. I will pull out my bag and I will show him the unfinished coffee liqueur that I make. Interesting. It needs about, I think, just over another week, just under another week actually. But you know, it, it's getting there. Mm -hmm. Uh, he actually bought a coffee set and. Shit's expensive, but I figured it you know, could be. Definitely, uh, might be not, you know, definitely targeting the, the snobby part of town with that, with that particular type of uh, drink, but uh, I reckon the carafe will be all over this. Well, uh, as friends, I'll, I'll save you a little bit when it's done and we'll see what it's like and we can fix something out if it's not. Hey, if it's shit. good, then uh, obviously I can, I can reach out, have a bit of a, a you know, Make, you make some more. You have some. Maybe you have the right people taste it, and if there's enough interest, I'll uh, work something out. Perhaps buy the recipe from you. If that's, uh, you know. And if it's awful, then we'll get smashed off it, and that'll be that. Yeah, pretty much. Perfect. Uh, I keep forgetting that you haven't met this clusterfuck group. Uh, it's his Cass, Last room, Dagon. Davian. Jax. Well, this nice to meet y'all. Uh, I, uh, I'll get people fucked up and make them regret using my product the next morning. Makes sense that you know Brooks then. Mm. Uh, not too much capital from return customers then by the sounds of it. Well, you say that, but uh, <laughs> alcohol is a uh, very lucrative business. I think at this point, okay. about half That's of the shit is. that we've drank at, at the giant is made here, so. Pretty much everything is, yeah. 
pretty much everything in the city is made here, to be honest. Which they do import some stuff from across have. the um, from across the pond, but uh, the majority. Yeah, but that's is made mostly carafe shit because it's expensive and. Of course, yeah, like you know, all, all the ale, beers, and and sort of booze like whiskey, rum, brandy, that sort of thing, all comes from here. Well, I'm sorry to cut it short, but we've got uh, some to be. Yeah, good luck, and uh, definitely save me some of that coffee shit that you're working on. Sure, of course. <laughs> anyway, it was good to see you. Well, take care, stay safe. Easy. Right, shall we, gang? <coughs> <coughs> As we just walk Um, out anyone <laughs> else mind uh, driving the uh, cart for a bit? I can, I can. give it a try. Um, I, I can do mm. I have one before. A long time ago, though. <laughs> I want. I wish I could. I wish I could just be like everyone. Make an animal handling check. That's <laughs> not my. That's not my job. Uh, you know, Brooks probably best idea. I don't know. Sure. Sure. Mm. Right. What's the worst that could happen. Literally a trader. I'm pretty sure he thinks every single road he sees curves. No, he for, He believes there's a fork in the road every time. Ah, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> I'm gonna climb are you, in the back. Are you, are you mm -hmm. implying that that's because I can't see straight? Yes. A little bit, yes. I'll be honest, at first when I thought it was a dick joke. Mm, no. <laughs> Alright, so you're hopping in the back. Brooks is uh, riding the carts. What are you doing? Uh, are you gonna just uh, take time to attune to your mantle, uh, Davian, some, what I'm assuming? or? Yes. I want to take a short yeah, he's rest. He's just tired of driving. He's just sick of it. Attune to my cloak. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to use are... my map. Ooh. My cartar for map case. Go for it. Am I sitting up front on my own? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let's see. Because she got Davian last time so as well. So it succeeds. So it succeeds. So Nothing instead of the... Like day and a half of travel to get to Southwold, which would be the first stop, uh, you'll be able to get there... Just after sundown today. Nice. Nice. No, no. camping. Fuck camping. All right. Uh, as you're on the road, uh, Brooks, make an animal handling check. Ooh, I'm not going to use that dice. That dice has been fucking me today. It's going to drive the car off a cliff. A cliff on the flatland. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's how bad he's driving. Total. <laughs> Sorry? 15. Takes the horses a bit to get used to you because they're so used to Davian being the one like controlling where they're going and stuff. But it, you do a fine job. Siren kind of sits next to you and makes sure that I uh, correct you because she's picked up a thing or two from watching Davian uh, control the the carts. I will and... just make small talk with uh, with Siren the entire time. Mm -hmm. uh, about halfway through your day, you notice you two especially because you're you know looking out front. Um, there's just like this, this like fog, just kind of like in the distance. Um, as you're getting towards it or going towards it, it's pretty much unavoidable, um, which makes it a little hard to see. And it gets to a point where um, the fog gets denser and denser to the point where you can barely see the horses. That's how dense it gets. And then everybody in the cart hears a voice. Oh, good. Ooh. Um, hold on. I don't like it. Elazarin. This point of my attunes my cloak. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Elazarin, okay. you hear the voice of Valor in the back of your head. Oh, no. Asking you for help. Uh, Davian, you hear a similar plea for help. But you recognize the voice to be your mother's. Jax, you hear the voice of Captain Fira also pleading for you to help her. Daigon, mm -hmm. you hear an apology, but also a plea for help from a set of voices that you recognize to be uh, your your parents. Okay. Um, Kess, you hear a plea for help as well, but you recognize the voice to be Dashu. And Brooks, oh, you also hear you. a plea for help in the back of your head, which you. is the voice of your dad. Could have been worse, honestly. 
Yeah. The mist Can sucks. I... Uh, like, how do you how do you respond to that? I do I know where the voice is coming from? It just like it just like rings echoes in the back of your head. Can There's I make no like an direction. insight check in the sense of like because it's so out of the blue and I've obviously just recently seen Valor. Yeah, sure, make an insight check. And it like it's like. So it's I'm gonna. Say, I was like, I know mapping. this isn't his style, as it were. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. stop the cat. Okay. That's 24. 24. Something's off. Something ain't right. What are you doing? Did you say there was like mist rolling in? When yeah, you're like in the middle of this like dense fog with you can yeah. barely see the horses. When you don't see the road. You see can nothing. I. S um, so after the card stops, you just see me get up and just like flip my middle fingers around at the fog and then I go back to napping. Okay. I'm going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. I'm going to assume that, like, even, like, it's just completely blurred vision, right? Like, when we're all yeah, you don't blinded, it's not like, it's not even, like, dark, it's just no obscured. Yeah. I'll just kind of, I'll go up to Brooks the ride, like, just keep going, Brooks. Something's wrong here. This isn't right. This isn't, it doesn't feel real. And as you're kind of discussing that, uh, the mist and the fog starts to, like, swirl, and it starts to coalesce into this shape. Oh, um, like this. Is. A huge mass of exposed entrails with bloated parasites uh, almost looks like whatever this creature is, it's it's inside out. Like, it's inside, hey. it's on the outside. Ooh. And it just... <laughs> and it's, it's huge. It towers over you and the cart. And it is just going... It uh. it's, picks up one of his arms and just <laughs> slams, like... Uh, like near the cart, the horses just you, you don't see the horses because of the fog, but you hear them like start to panic. I would like for you all to roll initiative. Oh, god, oh, oh, can I, I vision blessing what the myself fuck in this, is this? Like, sure. moment beforehand? Sure, that's disgusting. Oh, which dice do I roll? All three of them are not been good to me. Okay. The left one, the left. one. The left one, I'll see. Oh, dude. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh. This Stinky. Is yucky. Hold on. What did you just do? Uh oh. Fucking OBS froze for a second for no reason at all. Ooh. Very fun. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There we go. We're it's good. good. We love that. Um. Okay. Not too bad. Left one did me okay. So far. You're welcome. Just a second. One. Shut the fuck up. God, dude, fucking. Do you know what? British when men. Dutch is rattling off these voices that we hear, and he goes, "Your dad," and I'm like, <laughs> "You're like, I don't have one of those." Same. <laughs> yeah, my character does. I don't. I can't empathize. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyone with a twenty or higher? Uh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. No, oh, fuck. That's not what I want. <laughs> okay. And last yeah, you can pop your... Fifteen to twenty. Nineteen. 19, I got a 15. I got a 15. 19, 18. Yeah, I, got I rolled well. decently 15. good and I'm still last. You might <laughs> be ahead of the most. 19 was cast, right? Yes. Yep. 19 cast, 18 Brooks. Brooks. Which Davian, one of you has Davian, higher Davian. decks? Diagon and Davian. I, I mean, three, I'm decks. plus four, so. Okay. okay. Yeah. It's like, I mean. <laughs> I want to say I have a plus, seven, uh, plus eight to initiative and I got a 15. This happens every single time. It does. Uh, yeah, but you what you got a plus eight. 12. 12? Okay. It's not about going ahead of the party, it's about going ahead of the monster. Action no, no, economy. Do do okay. Fuck your action economy. Is that an offer? No. <laughs> fuck my action economy? No. Oh, fuck <laughs> yeah, like... fuck my action economy! I only, I, I'd only fuck Quibus' action economy. Hell yeah! Again, uh, would you make him wear a wig though? <laughs> no, she's my Nah, head. he just needs to grow his hair a little bit. Let me just a sec. Give it another couple inches. Sorry? Hey, what? If only you could grow another <laughs> couple inches. I'm taller than all you motherfuckers. Shut the fuck up. That's not what I meant. I, I know, know that's not what you meant. I hate it but here. I'm trying to make it somewhat not fucking dumb. Have you met us? Hang on. Okay. Dumb uh, with brown. that, as I uh, put on some fucking bangers. Um, Elazarin, you get to go first. 
Bobble goes up. I don't know I did it like that. Fuck it. Like... <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Bobble just straight away. So it just covers the cart. Um, and then I will bone it. Can, can I see it? Yeah, you can see this, like, this this huge monstrosity that is just mm. a mass of, of, of intestines and in, internal organs mm. all just, like, right. on the outside of this body. Two long, I... elongated arms with, like, bone hooks at, at the end of it. Yeah. For, like all kinds of um, parasites kind of feeding on it as it's just <laughs> writhing cool. towards you. And then I will bonus action cast Spiritual Weapon right next okay. to it and get an attack. Go for it. Whack it, lad. Don't tap it. Whack it. Oh, I hate you so much. A 19. 19 hits. It's a niche UK ad. Oh. Very chocolate orange. Yeah. Uh, wow, that was dog shit for six points of damage. Six points of force damage, Come right? On, yeah. Yar. Okay, okay. All right. And Is then, that a turn? And then oh. I will get some temp HP. Nice. I'll get seven temp HP. Very good. All right, Kess, you're up. Uh, how far away is it from me? Uh, it is. About 20 feet away from the cart. Okay, I'm uh, gonna cast Hex as my bonus action. Alright, uh, which ability score or which um, ability check would you want him to have disadvantage on? Uh, dexterity. Okay, okay. okay. Anything else? Uh, and then I'll cast um, Eldritch Blast at it as my action. Eldritch Blast. Roll attack. Uh, b -b -b 16. 16? Yeah. That hits, yes. That's my D10. Oops. Okay. Uh, Four force damage. Uh, one necrotic and two thunder. One necrotic, two thunder. Okay. Anything else? No, that's it. Alrighty, uh, Brooks. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna hop down. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move forward to make sure that I clear the horses. I'm gonna fucking use the horn of blasting. Hell yeah. Uh, so, a constitution saving throw, please. Constitution? Uh, yeah. 18. Okay, so it takes half damage. Make sure to roll your percentile die. I will do once I've done damage, because I think it says. Does it explode after? It doesn't specify, actually. Okay, ooh. That's nice. Uh, percentile dice is a 27. Um, it says each use of the ma horn's magic has a twenty percent chance. It doesn't specify whether yeah, it does yeah. it before or after. Okay, but fine. I rolled a twenty-seven. You're good. Okay, those are pretty good rolls. Uh, so it takes twelve thunder damage because it it would have been twenty-four. Twelve points um, of thunder damage. Uh, and then I'm going to bonus action. Rage, baby! Let's go. And then I'm Here. just gonna run at the motherfucker. Okay. Is that your turn? Yep. Uh, uh, it's, uh, eight temp HP. Oh. Ooh, spicy. Okay, this is a bit complicated, but here's what I want to do. Oh boy. So, as we give the rules, so it's 20 feet ahead of us, you said? Because we're all in the cart? 20 feet away from the cart, yeah. Okay. And how tall is it, roughly? Because it's big. You said it's huge. It's huge. Towers over us. Like, it's how many like, feet it's tall? It's like, like 10 to 15 feet tall. Okay. Um, because I looked up the rules for high jump. So when you make a high jump, you can jump in the air of feet equal to three. Oh, but it's your strength modifier, not your strength score. Okay. Never mind. That doesn't help me. Okay. Plan's <laughs> less complicated now. Um, I'm just gonna like jump out of the cart and start running at it and when i get uh within 
uh, 10 feet of it. So like right before I get to it, mm -hmm. I'm going to pop out my arms of astral self with a key point as mm -hmm. my bonus action. Uh, spend one of those bad boys. So yeah. it needs to make a dexterity save. Uh, five. Yeah, fails. Something finally failed that roll. Let's go. So, uh, how much do I roll? One. Hello? Or take four. Okay, two rolls, your martial arts die. That's what it is. Okay. There you go. Uh, She's so used to people succeeding, she never rolls. Yeah, it. exactly. Right? <laughs> Legit. Okay, Just so it panic. takes. Hello? Um, two rolls. So it takes seven points of force damage as the energy from the arms mm -hmm. hits it. And then as I get to it, I'm gonna just like with the arms just big, just do a big swipe at it with all my arms like all at once as in like three arms all the arms on my right side so three sets of three arms just mm -hmm. all at Hell once yeah. one go for it roll attack oh that's not great uh, 14 this is not hit unfortunately no so you just swipe at it and just just miss due to you know the fog the mist's hard to kind of i decide. think i'm closer than i actually am <laughs> um you're, yeah you you misjudge the, the the distance and uh swipe just short all right in that case i think i'm done because i don't have even though i have 20 feet of movement left my a high jump is only three feet which seems <laughs> silly considering all the other weird crazy shit i can do yeah but well. okay no, never mind. Yeah, that's it. That's my turn. That is your turn. You get six temp yes. HP. Oh, thanks. Okay. Sweet. Um, Davian, you're up. Uh, I mean, keep it range. Of, do I? Do I know what this thing is? Can I identify it? A mound of flesh. Uh, I'm gonna say no. You have no idea what this is. All right, I'm just gonna hunter's mark it and. Fucking shoot it, I guess. I Go mean, for it. oh, oh, that that hits. Hold on, twenty six. It's a hit. And twenty six. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is it? One d eight plus one d six plus three. Twelve points of piercing damage. Twelve from points of piercing the damage. Yup. Let's go. All right. As this creature just takes these hits, you can just you can just hear it just and just kind of make these 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 monstrous noises that just echo in the back of your head. Oh no! He's also gonna take flight and he's gonna go up about forty feet and just okay. uh, kind of flap around up there. All right. Zeti's my turn. Did you turn? Uh, you get nine temp HP. Ooh! There you go. Jax. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Fuck. Um, <laughs> I'm going to bonus action Misty Step to okay. it. And then I'm going uh, to hit it with my uh, gauntlets. Okay. So that's. It's a nine to hit. Does not hit, unfortunately. <laughs> Again. We're learning. We're learning nine. Doesn't the mist's have... very obscuring. Hard for you to calculate the distance, and you just misjudge it, and you just swing wide. All right. I'm going to sit there and cry. Nice. Is that a turn? Uh, that is my turn. But you okay. do get 10 temp HP. Oh, oh no. shit. Get maximum I'm beefy deep. boy now. All right, that's me. Okay. This creature just kind of like hunches down and from its like front end, this, it just expels acidic bile oh, no. in a 60 foot uh, line uh, that is five foot wide. So it's going to hit um, let me think. It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit Brooks. Of course. It's gonna hit Daigon. Yep. Um. It's always us. Cause we're always right there. 
it's also we're the morons hit. that get right there. I'm just gonna roll because like the cart yeah, is ten. Right this like I'm just gonna roll for who's on which side of the cart. The horses. The ponies. Oh my god, it's uh, our horses pepper. right now. We're fucked. Pepper and caramel. It's, it's gonna hit Kess, and it's gonna hit Siren. Nice. Siren, <gasps> no. Um, so I need those to all make dexterity saving throws. I can bring her oh, back to her town. Just I don't win these. Oh, deck save? Deck oh, saves, okay. yeah. I'm okay at these. Why? Okay, I've rolled the same number twice in a row now. Hello? And it's not a good number. Just ooh, 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 I don't think I made this. Yeah, me either. 14? Nope. Same. Nope. <laughs> I rolled an 8 again. I rolled a bad thing. Bell? Uh, 21. 21. No, 22. 22, okay. You managed to uh, duck down and you, you dodge this like incoming bile. The other three, however, uh, that includes Siren, uh, you are just covered yeah. in Ooh. this like acidic bile. Disgusting. Oh. Uh, and that is <laughs> it for now. Stop. Uh, Siren now has a turn. And what about the damage hold. from the bile? Oh, oh, Siren, oh no, it, no! Cyrano has a turn, and as her turn starts, you just hear her uh, cry out as this bile What's starts to start turn? and just eat at her. Oh, she takes fucking hell. Um, Three hundred poison damage. Hey, get a billion. Hey, if only one billion damage. If only I was pure barbarian and not multiclassed. If only. The last lack. If only I'd played optimally. <laughs> you play optimal. Crazy. Uh, Rooks was pretty fucked. He takes uh, 25 points of acid damage. Oh, she, she no. Just, uh, <laughs> and she looks rough. Oh, oh boy. Ah, she's a snake. She can grow another skin. And <laughs> she is going to bite through the pain. And actually, wait. No, no she panics and is just going to try and get rid of the bile and just tries to wipe it off. Or so she's going to be using her action to do that instead. Oh, oh, it's one of those. It's you keep taking damage until you use an action um, to not. Take. So that is her turn. But uh, uh, she gets <sighs> eight to temp HP. Eight to temp HP. Good to know. Oh god. Okay. okay. Uh, cool. Lazarin, it's your turn again. Cool. I will. Um. Uh. Bonus action, you make my spiritual weapon attack. Go for it. That's Bonus a natural 20. Action. Nice. Oh! Yo! Pogo. Pogo. Poggies. For 19 points of damage. 19 points of damage, very good. Uh, and then as an action, I will... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, how many people does this get? So I will cast Bless at first level. Okay. And I'll give Bless to Daigon. I'll give <gasps> it to Yay! Brooks. And I'll give it to Jax. Pog. Hell the three people, who, yeah. the three people right. who are like right up front next to us. Hashtag are Blessed. All blessed. Are all okay. blessed. I'm going to see a file mm -hmm. kind of happen. I'm going to jump off the cart and kind of like, if I, I kind of see it, it went in like a kind of straight line and not like a. Colonel, yeah, get you, uh, uh, yeah. Mm, actually, because the fucking fog kind of oh, made it hard fog. to determine. Uh, okay. uh, make a perception check with disadvantage. Disadvantage, cool. Yeah, retroactively. That's fine. Uh, I mean, it's nineteen. You, yeah, you'll have. It was. It was. Seems to you that it just came from a straight line as to where yeah. you think then the creature will, like, is. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'll try and like as much as best as I can. Try and keep myself all, like. A, Away from everyone else, but keep everyone in the in the dome, obviously. All right. I mean, that's freaking huge. So, um, that'll be my turn, and I get oh, I get more temp HP. Oh, nice. Yeah. Rolled better. So I'm up to nice. very good. Uh, nine instead, and that's my turn. Okay. Kess, you're up. Blast. Put blast. I just had blast it. Ah, <laughs> it's not blast. Oh, there we go. It's like cameras frozen yeah, again. Yeah, those cameras. Never mind. Yeah, Bell's yeah. cameras all kinds of fucked up. Uh, 24. That hits. It's for Elder's Blast, yeah? Yeah. Wee! Uh, 7 force damage. 7 force damage. Thunder. 
and three necrotic. Seven, two, three. Yeah? Yep. Okay, so it's yep. 12 total. Okay. Okay. Is that your turn? Yep. Alrighty. Brooks. At the start of your turn, you're okay. on the <laughs> You just Price feel this 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 acidic bile starts to eat at you. Cool. Um, so you take. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you take thirty six <laughs> points of acid damage. Thirty six. Thirty six points of acid damage. Acid damage. <laughs> Holy acid damage. shit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a bonus action to drink a potion, right? Yes, because I'm officially bloodied. Yeah, I'm sure. Is it also a bonus action to drink a drink? <laughs> I consider that the same thing. Whether you're drinking, uh, you know, from a bottle of booze or a bottle of healing potion, I feel that's the same thing. Okay, I'm just gonna straight choke the last quarter of a bottle of the firebeard whiskey that we had. Okay. And use my amulet of the drunkard uh, to fucking heal. Nice. Uh, which is forty-four plus four. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad I bought this because. <laughs> right, it's, just it's, in it's, time. It's, it's, it suits Brooks so well as well. Just like drinking mm -hmm. booze to heal. That's fucking sick, dude. <laughs> right, it, that's this. Um, yes. Actually, uh, it needs to be a pint of beer, ale, mead, or wine. So, nah, the whiskey doesn't whiskey count. Do it. DM, Sorry. DM says alcohol. Nerd. DM says it's. <laughs> I drank a quarter of a bottle of whiskey. I feel like that's appropriately a pint. Nah, of, like, like I'll rule it so that any uh, any form of alcohol will do, as long as it's like a cool. decent amount. Okay. It's actually, it's actually not the amulet. It's not. Action. It's not a. Uh, actually healing you from the amulet just you've had so much whiskey you just don't feel pain anymore <laughs> <laughs> uh, i rolled pretty poopy Makes you feel numb. so i'm yeah, gonna heal from 13. okay 13. Uh, oh, man some no longer bloody technically uh yeah i'm gonna use my action to get this shit off of me mm. as much as i don't want to because if it's another 36 i'm out yeah, it's uh, it's a big boy. It's uh, it's worth yeah, it's worth it taking that action. <laughs> it's worth taking yeah. that action to fucking. Yeah, it is. Off. <laughs> nah, Anyone don't be able to take that action. Is just committing to unconsciousness. Hmm. Uh, that's my turn. Hit commitment. All right. Uh, you get six ten HP. Lit. Nice. Dagon. Fuck's sake. Oh. Yeah. You also Bring it. just feel this acid just like tss, eating oh boy. through your skin and and through your clothing. Uh, you take. All ones, baby. Come on. All tens. Yay. All right. Here All twelve. D twenty damage. E Thirty-five. Nashed corners. Points of acid damage. Woo -hoo! Okay. Max damage. Oh yikes. Okay. Jesus. Um, because that hurt a lot, and I'm barely not looking great i mean my spectral arms are out in theory i'm hoping maybe it doesn't hurt them i want to use my spectral arms to wipe it to try and just like really quickly because i have four of them as well just do a real quick get this shit off of me. that'll still be your your action to wipe it off yeah, you, yeah, yeah 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 that's my action and then bonus action i'll spend a key point for step of the wind or not step of the wind sorry patient defense because i don't okay. want to fucking get hit by that again okay oh i guess it's a saving throw so it won't really fucking matter but i don't know that i'd still patient defense fair enough fair enough Ready. Uh, um, but I don't want to move. I'm going to stay there because I want to fuck it up when I'm done wiping this shit off me. So. Sounds good. Um, you get 10 you HP. You get 9. Thank you. you. That's you almost as much health as I have left. <laughs> That's 10 oh, HP. Oh, oh. Um, Davian. The one. I shoot. You shoot. Uh -oh. <laughs> These monsters oh. are very cool, by the way, and I definitely want to talk about them on Discourse because they're super cool. Mm. What no, source 18. is it from? Uh, what was that? Sorry. Eighteen hits. to hit. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, what source is it from? Hold on, let me. Like, is it just? It's scene. not just from the monster manual. It's from like a different source book. It's from. That's Tome of Foes. Um. I think it's from. It's from uh, Van Richten's guide to the Ravenloft. Okay. Okay. Oh, Fuck. 12 <laughs> points of piercing damage. 
12? Nice. Yeah. Tidoki. And freaking Onu is going to come in as well. Nice. A little oh, no. uh, swoop in, swoop out. With a an 18 to hit also. It's, yep, yep, yep. Uh, which is a 1d4 plus 3 plus PBs. Ugh. So 3, 6, 8 points of damage with the shred. Okay. Uh, which is slashing damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he's going to zoop back out of there. Alrighty. And that will be my turn. Uh, that's for Onu. Is technically is a, is, a, is a melee attack, right? Uh, yeah. Onu melee takes upon attack. impacting uh, this creature. Takes uh, oh, only one point of acid damage just from like the splatter of acid that happens oh, when, when, when it hits it. Uh, wait, wait. Question. Hmm? Does Onu get 10 HP from... How high is, is the dome? It, it, it's uh that's an excellent fucking question. Oh, here's the fucking dome. I mean, it's a 15 foot radius sphere. It's 30 foot radius sphere. Oh, it's fucking shit. huge. The dome. It's yeah, sure. Massive. Fuck it. Yeah, it's a creature, right? Technically. Oh. Yeah. Well, as I was saying, is it like capable? Oh well, Davian gets 10 to HP. Nice. Okay. okay. <laughs> Only gets five. <laughs> it's the highest and the lowest. I, mean, I don't even know where I'm gonna <laughs> mark it mark down, it. but. Mark it down like on a bit yeah, bit. just like right down, like in like yeah. a on like a page in notebook or some shit. Just like five. See, would that mean though that he got temp HP last turn that he just lost, so he didn't actually lose HP then? Sure. No. Actually, no, because I flew him forty feet up. So Dude, fly forty day. feet up. So true. That, yeah. that would be outside of that radius. But now he can't fly forty feet up, so he will be in the dome. There you go. Boom. Sorted. Is that your turn? Yes. All right, Jax. Eesh. I'm going to fucking cry. Um, I, I, I don't know if I want to cast a spell on it. I'm gonna. I'll just try to hit it with my gauntlets again, I guess. Go for it. Roll attack. Remember, so, you're blessed. Yes, sir. Oh, this. Okay, this isn't hit. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Uh, that is a 27 to hit. That hits, yeah. I mean, nice. we heard an 18 hit already, so I feel like we knew that. Yeah, I know, but maybe it's just like immune to 27s. I don't know. Yeah, it's, okay. it's very specific. I would, you know. I would yeah, love I that for a creature. That would actually be kind of cool. Numbers. A one so, specific like, number? It's like, like you can roll too only, high. Like, you know, odds don't hit, evens do, or whatever the fuck. Not even that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? like, it's just when you roll. It's just like that. Uh, That'd be great to watching your players try and figure it out. Like, but this is what's so Nine points of thunder damage. Nine points. Is that a melee attack, Soko? Yes, it is. Fuck. Okay. You do take upon impacting uh, three points of acid damage from, from acid splattering over you as you as you punch it. Okay. And then for my bonus action, I'm gonna cast. Oh fuck. I'm gonna cast sanctuary on myself. Okay. Sure thing. Sure thing. Is that your turn? Yep, that's my turn. What do I team? You're 5 temp HP, I don't know if that's what you I already have 7, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and you got max, didn't you? So. Uh, so, let's yeah. see if he gets his... What's it called? I hope not. He gets his bile hex back, but he doesn't. So instead, uh -huh. he's going to... Run away, because he's scared. <laughs> make two attacks with his limbs. With his what? His limbs. Oh. Uh, one at ribs. Brooks. I had ribs. <laughs> one at Brooks and one at um, Jax or Dagon. Oh, Jax boy. just punched it. Yeah, Brooks and Brooks Big and scary Jax. blue man. It has disadvantage to hit me. Mm -hmm. So I'll roll for you first. Then, Actually, Jax. wait, no, it's not disadvantage. I think it has, a, it has to make a wisdom saving throw. Sorry. Oh, okay. wisdom save. Wisdom save. Uh, fifteen. Fuck, that's the DC. Mm. Okay, now it can try to hit me. Okay. With his vantage chill or just normal? No, just normal. Okay, uh, that is Actually, a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 21 to hit? Yep, and I'm going to use my reaction to cast Silvery Barbs. Okay. Um, I'm going to distract him. Um, turning his momentary uncertainty into encouragement, he gets uh, another d20 and basically it gets disadvantage, so he uses whatever the lowest roll is. And then I'm going to turn that disadvantage and give uh, Brooks advantage on his next attack. 
or saving okay. throw. Advantage and blessed. Ooh la la. Wait, so he still rolls with his advantage now then, right? Yes. He hits you, you were like, no, 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 no. We'll try again. So now he rolls one more and takes the lower roll. Okay, 18? 18 does not hit. Because of his new, his I new have plate 19 armor. AC, true, baby. True, you true, true. fucking... There you go. All right, so he misses. Uh, the one on Brooks is a normal roll, I'm assuming. Yeah, 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 I can't do anything about that one. Uh, it's worth lying to the party, to hits, though. Brooks. <laughs> um, okay, you take. Um, fucking, fucking shit, fuck. Oh my god. Um, mm hmm. <laughs> You take 30 points, half to 15 bludgeoning damage, as well as 12 points of acid damage. Fucking thing's nasty. Mm. Ouch. Yeah. Uh, I'm bloodied again. There's a reason there's only one for you to fight. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> um, I'm very hurt. <laughs> Uh, that is its turn. It is now Sirin's turn. What is turn. it doing here? Is my question. Like, what mm -hmm. the fuck? Sirin. I guess you do. Oh, I do. <laughs> right. <laughs> is going to. Bonus action cast Hunter's Mark on it. Because why the fuck not? Yeah. Uh, extra damage. Because we've determined that separate Hunters can Hunter's Mark the same targets, and that's how that works. Yeah. And it's just gonna fucking knock an arrow in her longbow and uh, take a shot at him. Ooh, natural 19, so that will definitely hit. Ooh. Uh, so a d8 and a d6. Uh, 11 points of piercing damage. Coming from Sirin. Uh, and she's gonna use her movement to pop out of the carts and separate herself so that she doesn't get fucked by a p potential line of cum again. Ew. Ew. Could have um, just said puke. That's what it that's is. That's true. Bile. Yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> Bile's better. That's Sirin's turn. Elazrin. Oh, oh, wait. Does Sirin uh, get 10 HP? Yeah, she gets 6. Uh, she had 8 already, so that's, she's going to keep that 8. saving the day. Uh, Elazrin, you're up. Hmm. Want to roll bonus action spiritual weapon attack? Yep. That's going to miss. That's a 10. Yeah, it misses. And then I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at first level. Okay. Just a regular Guiding Bolt. She's going to miss. Nine. Like, it's still incredibly foggy, and it's mm. so dense. You can barely see. The only way you can kind of position... Mm. know where it is or know where your friends is because of the sounds they make while fighting yeah. so it's very hard for you to, to just nail those the, nail those attacks unfortunately Yo, can I get better 10 HP? nope cool it's my turn yes uh, Eldritch Blast Eldritch Blast Eldritch me and Kess out here having exactly the same turns, but just hexing. <laughs> well, pretty much. Bowen, uh, 24 West. to hit. Hits. Oh, shit. In the tree. Seven, force damage. Two thunder. <laughs> One necrotic. So 10 points of damage total. <laughs> All right. Yep. Is that your turn? What the fuck does this mean? Yeah. Okay. Brooks. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it's fuck all. Um, shit. It's not a good time, boys. <laughs> I'll say. Good time, uh, um, uh, I'm going to spend a key point to bonus action, step of the wind, and disengage. Okay. And I'm going to move back. I'm gonna move back fucking 40 feet. Alright. Not got very much choice. And then. Oh, do, 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 do. Oh, yes. I mean, I have shit I can throw, but it's. Fuck it. No, I'm gonna move back 20 feet. Uh, I'm going to use my action 
to lob one of my fucking hand axes at it. Okay. Uh, I have advantage on my first attack, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, natural 20. Nice. Hey, nice. baby. The first one was a 10, no. so that's great. Uh, it's going to be shit damage. Um, Better nothing. Yeah. I also need to double check really quick if I get rage on it because I'm throwing it. I don't think I do. I think it's just uh, melee attacks. But... No, it just says melee, so no. Uh, uh, that's a 4, double to 8, plus 3, 11 points of slashing damage. All right. And then I'm going to move another 20 feet back because I am, like, <laughs> not looking good. I am very bloodied. I am... Okay. Like, I'm going to take cover behind the car, bloodied. Fair enough, fair enough. All right. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, you get, get 10 HP? HP? Craig. Oh, sorry. Quit box. I've already pre-rolled <laughs> it, and I just forgot to pre-roll this time. Uh, eight. Hey, okay. So that's doubling my health. Nice. Cool. There you go. Uh, Diagon. All right. I'm going to try and go for just a whole bunch of fury swipes, but spectral arms only, because I'm hoping that it's not going to burn me. If I do, I'm not, and I'm assuming I'm not burning at the top of my turn, because I got managed to... No, you you, you took your action okay. to, to remove the bile from you. So yeah, we're just going to attack with the arms and key point flurry of blows. So we're going for three attacks. Go for it. Uh, and I'm, I'm blessed. So the first one is, uh, 17 plus 6, 23. Mm -hmm. So on the first one, it's only my martial arts die. Okay. Um, uh, lame. Okay. The first one is five points of force damage. Okay. You take seven points of acid damage. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, oh, then you know what? Maybe I should have. I guess I've declared I was doing all three. I gotta do it now. I can't be like, oh, it hurts. Uh, I mean, I'd no, stop. I'll say that you can, like, your action will be gone. Uh, it will, then, yeah, because that was the attack. But I'll action. say, if you, if you notice after one attack that you, like, you're fucking yourself, you can, you can say, oh, never mind. I'm not doing bonus action, what I thought I was gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna it's do fine. that because I'm low enough health. Like, if I was higher health, I'd do it, but I'm low enough that I'm like, that's <laughs> a poor plan. Uh, and because I'm so close to it. Ugh. How many of those are in my inventory? Hold on. Okay, okay. It's lame, but it's safer. So I'm gonna, seeing that the spectral arms still really fucking hurt mm -hmm. and Brooks backed off, I will also then still spend that key point, but to do bonus action step of the wind to disengage and back up 20 feet. Okay. And ideally in a, in a direction that is just an op a different direction from anyone else in the group. So that could be sideways. It could be just yeah, some just way that puts like me... in a line with anyone else. Yeah, so I'm we're that. kind of like fanning out right now. Okay. So, okay, and that's my, and I, my, that's my turn. Yeah, I'm specifically though 20 feet, not my full movement, just 20. Okay. Davian. Oh, you get six temp HP. Oh, thank you. You'll never you. guess. You gonna shoot it? <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it. You gonna cast Eldritch Blast. And that is a 24 to hit. That hits. For... Oh, 16 points of piercing damage. How do you want to finish it off? Yes! Oh, oh. I'm gonna, okay. Hold on. Well, oh, that sucks. I was gonna do some twin shit with Oni, but Oni technically missed. Actually, no, you know, it doesn't matter because it's dead. I'm yeah. gonna shoot an arrow, and the arrow's gonna stick in it, and it's gonna be like writhing, and then Oni's gonna swoop down, freaking grab the arrow in his mm -hmm. talons, mm -hmm. and just like, just like bust it open, drag the arrow down through its its sort of mass, and just like tear it open. That's crazy. And as, that, <laughs> as that happens, you can just hear this like, and you hear. Voices in the back of all of your heads, different voices, all people that you've yep. met or you know throughout your life, just just yelling, screaming in pain. Uh, and eventually, as this being pff, slumps down, that stops, and the mist and fog start, or the fog starts to disappear and just starts swirling around the creature. And Gross. you can see the fog disappear, and the creature's body just slowly turns into fog as well, and just. Pff, yeah. 
What the fuck was that what thing? What the fuck was that? I don't know. Yeah, I did not enjoy Does, that. Do I recognize it at all in like any like weird reading, like religious readings of like just abominations and shit or make a history check. While you're doing that, I'll go over to Brooks and give him 13. a little cure wounds. Thirteen? Hold on. Eater. Thank you so much. How much my healing? Uh eight. That's double my health. I'm still bloody though. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you have heard of creatures that were just regarded as unspeakable horrors that come in many forms and sizes with many different abilities. Um, untold half-formed evils lurking in mists, uh, yet to be realized imaginings of dark powers and the remnants of, of ruined domains. Um, while such nightmares typically manifest as nothing more than impressions, whispers, or vaporous visions amid the fog, sometimes the mist gathers such powerful evils that it forces them into a unique, misshapen body, untethered from the laws of reason or reality. Oh, fantastic. Um, and I just sort of, like, gets back onto the car and just goes, well... I think. I'm just trying to remember. Uh, I believe they something called an unspeakable horror. It's uh, an old tale that when there's concentrated evil, they show up usually like nightmarish creatures, you know. Things are blended in. Sometimes they manifest fully as a physical form rather than just in dreams or in... I thought they were just legend. Clerics have fun so bedtime stories. <laughs> uh, who, who did the unspeakably horrible thing then? No, it's just called it's you know it's like the, the boogeyman, you know. It's like who? You know, a, a made-up monster to scare children, you know. It's that like, but it wasn't because yes, so yes, it's... I know. So it's like and that. It's <sighs> they. they oh, come it's in like all Krampus. Shape yes. They all come in I'm all just, shapes and sizes, and they're not all the same. I'm just gonna go back to the back of the cart and just lie down, looking and just like, ow, <laughs> ow. I'm going, and to, just go down. I'm going to cast Prayer of Healing as well. Nice. Well, for the next 10 minutes. Um, so everyone gets. Is Does the temp well. HP dissipate, or do we just keep nope. it until it it's closed up? Forever. So you right. last forever until you. Everybody gains. Yeah, that fucking like the way I'm, I definitely want to talk about it on discourse. But the way you cust you like make these things is like you have like three or four different tables that you it's roll on. Up. One is for like the type of body they have. The second is like the type of limbs they have. The third That's is cool. like what kind of like breath weapon do they have? It's very fucking cool. It's All I can think of is the fuck. fucking like World of Warcraft like aberrations that walk down the path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are terrible. It's uh and yeah. like. There's so many combinations that you can make because of the fact that there's like four different tables that you roll on to and you can reuse them. Yeah, it's very cool. Very cool. Uh, everybody gains eighteen health. Eighteen. Oh, nice. Yeah, I take a lot of damage Beautiful. in that fight, so I appreciate it. I gain. Zero. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Hold on, I'm dumb. Did you damage yourself instead of heal? Yeah, I damaged instead of heal, so now it looks like I died. But it's fine. It's fine. I fixed it. Um, I fixed it. And the way they also, uh, like, each type of body comes with its own perks. For instance, the body that you guys had made it so that every time it gets hit by a melee attack, like, the acid, like, splatters and then hurts. Brutal. Yeah. It's very Pretty cool. Hot. Very cool creature. I'm going to go collect my hand axe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> floor now, I guess? Yeah, it just, it's just laying on the floor, like, on the road, middle of the road, just on the ground. Because there's no corpse, so just... Nope. I'll go pick my axe up and turn it over and make sure there's no big fucking chips in it from where i hit the floor no you're fine i uh i hop down from the car sort of you know draped in my new cloak that seems to shift constantly as i walk through like matching the environment around me well uh brooks you look a little worse for wear and since i'm all done you know getting familiar with this thing uh i, I can drive the car from here on out and you can rest in the back oh definitely fine to me oh, fuck <laughs> this shit i'm going to bed <laughs> Yeah, I'm still gonna. I, do that. I'll pass in my old cloak. Yeah, if you need, you know, some sort of blanket. 
just look at like the acid stain down my fucking suit. <laughs> mm. I'll get that looked at. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you guys uh getting back in the carts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll hop up front now to uh continue. Draw the OCs. Alright. Horses uh, definitely have the shit scared out of them, but they don't see yeah. What else anyway. is new? <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll spend a couple minutes with them, just like, you know, giving them pets and, and trying to be reassuring to some degree, uh, okay. kind of calm them a little bit. Ready? These horses have seen some shit, bro. Yeah, they have. <laughs> yeah, they have. Uh, and they, uh, eventually, they, they calm down and um, you guys set off. And you arrive at Southwold just after sundown. No more Ooh. things happen to you along the way. It's a pretty uh, mm. easy Sweet. second leg of the trip for the day. Oh, I just realized I spilled mm. tea on myself. Nice. Um, <laughs> as you... Uh, do you just ride the cart into town? Yeah, why not? Okay. Uh, as you... Southwold is a small town. Uh, as you ride the cart into town... Um, you can you can hear a lot of commotion coming from the like town square okay. where as you get closer you see jolly the red tiefling the Yay! owner of oh. the solid crow tavern uh yelling as she stands and watches her tavern lit ablaze oh no oh. uh the town guards are, are trying to put the fire out but eventually you hear one of them is yell just let it burn. There's nothing we can do. Just make sure it doesn't catch any of the surrounding buildings. And Jolly just goes, just just starts stomping on the floor. Oh, no. She's sad, but also fucking fuming. Cass immediately like runs over. Uh, same. I'll like, go with her. Jumps out of the car, yeah, running well. over. Oh damn! Hello. Um, it's good to see you again. It. I. I wish it was on the better circumstances but what happened do they know well um i had a couple of p patrons in the tavern a couple of days ago they refused to pay so i had to kick them out and they caused a fuss a guard showed up and they booked it yelling that i would regret fucking with them i thought nothing of it uh, but here we are a few days later tavern set the blaze and i don't think that was a coincidence do, do you remember anything distinctive about them uh, when they ran off from the guards, they, they were headed southeast towards the residential area of town. They were wearing some kind of emblem, looked like a white crow. Um, one of them, uh, the one that seemed to be in charge, claimed he knew about my side business. And she kind of looks mm. at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, threatened to expose me, and that is when uh, I had enough, and they also refused to pay, and so to blackmail me, I kicked them out. Just, uh, I did some digging. Um, this this white crow emblem is associated with some old order of vigilantes, but that that, that order uh, stopped existing uh, very long ago, so I doubt these are the real deal. Perhaps just people that found out about them, or, or I don't know, whatever. They're, they're not the real deal. Uh, it's an order that sought out corruption and got rid of it, but, um, well, if they are the real deal, it seems that their ways have definitely changed over the years. Yeah, this doesn't exactly seem like, uh, vigilante justice. Vigil not particularly. Vigilante. vigilante. So, um, I would offer you a drink, but, um, you know. Maybe we can offer you one instead. I feel Brooks. like that. <laughs> I was gonna offer, but now I'm a little bit offended that you assume that... Ah, fuck it. We've got a keg if you want to drink it. It's been a shitty day for you, clearly. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say no to I don't mean drink. to make assumptions, but with the tavern burning down, I feel like... I feel there's gonna be a lot of people wanting a drink. We might be able to even no. charge a no. little bit. No. We may be able to do anything. Because it's not our alcohol. But it was my idea. And there could be a fair bit of money to be made selling from a keg to a bunch of people who just lost their tavern. We've got one keg. One. 
Right. And it cost me five <laughs> gold. Mm, it's not a bad Right. Thing. How much money do you think we're going to make off this? <laughs> well, if you charge tavern fees, at least two, maybe three times at the month. Mm, yeah, bring I your don't... own cups. Set up a little table. But then we have to travel without any fucking mead all the way to... What, to fucking... Oh, the uh, money will make. We can buy another keg. Are we stopping in New Dharamath or are we going <laughs> straight through? Or We can't go through Some it. Of us we can't are. go in it. We're Some going around it. Some of us are going in. through it to go talk to someone. Yeah. Okay, but they're gonna charge me a shit to more fucking keg. I think I'd rather just keep the keg and... So, um... The one person I'm gonna offer a drink to is Jolly, who you are has just hopeless. lost a fucking tavern. Appreciate it. This is clearly a very, a very, uh... You know, lucrative opportunity. And we have a fucking cleric of Joaquin here to make sure it's as lucrative as the gods can possibly permit. Oh, no, this is not the time to... You know, making misfortune, you know, making money off someone else's misfortune. Especially, Especially when you're standing right in front of These the person. These people need a tavern. It'll be making money out of my misfortune I would, when I have I would to rather, put up with you for the I'd rather, fucking days with no, no fucking me. I'd rather put is, money towards a new tavern than I would be to. Okay, I, um, so we'll do that. That's right, fine. We'll, we'll... I, I, I can afford repairs and a rebuild. It's fine. It's just. Fucking hell. I, um. Well, I can't offer you a place to stay for the night, nor drinks, but, um... It's fine. Well, I have a house, but uh, it's not really room for uh, six of you and, uh, and all that, but... Uh, say, we'll, 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 we'll figure something out. We'll, we'll camp outside town. These I'll horses, are they, they treated you well, by the way? Better than we treated them. I, yeah, they've been great. I wanna, in sign language, ask... Jolly, because I think I'm remembering correctly that she also speaks it. Hopefully, <laughs> um, uh, ask the 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 storeroom that we got some items from before. Is that also gone to the blaze? And any of the flammable items in it? Should we be concerned? That is also gone. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll nod. Hey, you wouldn't happen to um, uh, no. Be busy tonight, are you? You bored? What? Depends what you're offering. Pass her and me. Probably not. Help me find the guys that did it and kick their ass. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm down. I nod. Yes. I could do with. Uh, have we short rested on the cap? Yeah, you, you can definitely. Right? Short, short rest. rest yeah, right. Yeah. yeah okay. Then yeah, Brooks is absolutely. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's fucking let's. Knock some fucking heads, it'd be great. It seems to be a group bonding activity at this point. It seems to be something we do frequently. I'm also just pissed off at them. I want to good at it. Punch them. Yeah, I was gonna say I yeah. had some stories this of your not... exploits. You seem pretty, uh, pretty capable. How dare Ooh. they burn down my third favorite tavern? Third? Fa I'm insulted. Oh, don't uh, be. That's a very, very long list to make it. It's a long three, list. Yeah. Is it? Was I'll take it? I was joking, uh, by the way. Wait, what's your number one and two? Burnley Giant's definitely number one. It's probably number two. <coughs> Burnley Giant is number two. Uh, if I'm, if I, you know, come just after the Friendly Giant, that's, uh, that's that's quite the compliment. I'll take that. Is the is the one that's number one from your home? Yeah, yeah. Where are you from? I'm from uh, Sigalia. Let's, uh, let's leave it at that. Get on the road. <clears throat> All right. Empire boy. And uh, my uh, well, I'm born on on the um, on the continent, but my family hails from uh, the Expanse. So I've uh, I've I have roots in uh, in the Empire. Go back every once in a while. Well, um. Well, if you want to, uh, you know, do me a favor and track down and, and beat these assholes to a pulp, I, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. I, uh, I can, I can scrounge up a bit of a reward if that's any motivation. I just want to see these fucks no. dealt with. I just do oh, like a don't worry fun. about it gesture. Yeah. Just when, when things are well, set back up, just buy us all a drink. How about if we do find them? 
we can... I don't know. If any barrels survive they won't. down there... They won't. They might. Oh, They're oh, full oh, of oh, flammable oh, alcohol. Right, 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 right. But kept in a fucking stone subterranean cellar. That's hard for fire to even catch on. You have right? a lot so of it might be the only thing left standing. Yourself, my friend. That's true. <laughs> I mean, even if it's just a dirt basement, it'll be hard to set fire to. I'm, listen, I'm being optimistic. You, you all wanted nothing, so I'll just say, all right, if something survives, I'll go down so there. So basically, you want sure nothing. Fine. I'm I'd rather just have, now. I'd sure. rather just look. I'm not sure I really want to take the last fucking. Oh, it's fine. I, I, I'm going to have to rebuild the tavern anyway, and. Uh, That's what I'm saying. It's, it's fine. It's fine. If you find anything useful oh. in that piece of pile of timber next morning when it's all completely burnt out, feel free to take it. I don't give a shit. I'd rather just do a favor, to be honest. Right. So, my first man takes off. There were two people talking at the same time. What is happening? I just said, who are we looking for? Well, I don't know. Uh, people. Some people. Other than Crow Emblem. Uh, they, they were running towards the southeast inside of town, towards the residential area, so that's probably a good... Uh, good uh, probably a place I'll to start. Say... Look for anything that looks off. Yep. Um, I don't know. So I Humans? can say both to Cass and to Jolly to you, yes. in, in sign language. If we go the rough direction, maybe there's a chance I could... Because did they use any sort of accelerant to start this fire? Because either the smell of like smoke or the smell of whatever they use to start this fire, I could maybe pick up on it. Well, because uh, I'm assuming you're signing this all, right? So she yeah, understands. signing it. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, the fire did start very rapidly, so I wouldn't be surprised if they used I don't know maybe maybe some some like gunpowder or something to to accelerate it a bit. Yes. If I just like because we're standing near the burning, like not close enough to be get hurt, but we're standing mm -hmm. in sight of the burning building right now, right? No, yeah, yeah, you're standing like in front of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, can I take a quick sniff of the air? Does it smell like any, like you know, gunpowder or Make like check. gasoline type smells? A D and D version of it. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's a good, good, good. Um, twenty one. Yeah, you pick up a very strong sense of uh, black powder. Yeah. Okay, I'll say I'll, I'll, I'll wrinkle my nose a bit and decide. Yeah, I definitely smell some black powder. Well, if uh, perhaps use that nose of yours and uh, just take a walk towards the residential area and see if you can follow that scent, maybe? I don't know. I can yeah, try. The people, uh, there were five of them total. They, they seemed human to me, but I mean, could have been disguises. So then I'm not sure. Um, just your typical drunken oaths. Small, pretty much. limp. Anything um, like that? Eye patches or? No, very average. Uh... Like, unremarkable? Yeah, just very unremarkable, yeah. Just... Honestly, finding five unremarkable people might be more remarkable. So... Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. What a weird thing to remark. Oh, God. Right, so, residential district, gunpowder, five unremarkable individuals with white crow emblems? Um, mm -hmm. is there... Do I have like any sort of like connection of like a white kremlin with the night webs at all like any like riot just like it's like a, just a rival group at one point that like, like they talked about ages ago uh or... make a history yeah. check i don't like this very much much yeah uh 19. no you never heard of him yeah thought so Never heard of him. Right then, shall we get going? Dagan, I guess you're going to be leading the way I'll, on this uh, one. Yeah. I'll watch your horses and your carts, yeah. I suppose, in the meantime. Oh. Thank you. Um, I will oh. cast... Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, what, else cast... what else am I going to do? Uh, I'll cast Guidance on... Uh, Daigun. Maybe mm. wait till we get there, because it only lasts a minute. Until we I get could, to the residential district. It's literally a fucking cantrip. I'll just yeah, keep yeah, yeah. it from Alex D. Just, 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 like, just okay. You'll want to follow a trail, I guess, right? Yeah. If you can. Constant yeah. monk coming. 
Oh. Yeah, okay. Gregorian shouts behind her. Yeah. <laughs> you me. All right. All right. <laughs> Um, as you make your way towards the residential area, uh, yeah, make a perception check. And then I need a d4 for guidance. D4. Uh, 18. Yeah, you, you, the, the, you can definitely pick up the scent still, uh, and it seems to lead you to, uh, a house that seems abandoned, boarded up windows, boarded up door. Can I, can I see any, point like... it out to the group. Can I see any traces of anyone having been in there recently? Make a perception check. Uh, this one. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Uh, 21. 21? Just at a glance, yeah. um, the windows and door seem to be boarded up. But um, as you get closer, you notice that... Um, the planks boarding up the door. Uh, your hand goes straight through, through them. They seem to be an illusion. Can I look around for this white crow emblem anyway? Uh, yeah, sure. Make a make it's a just immediately obvious. Are you well? Exterior. Okay. Are you just like? Do you want to get close to the house and actually like act really like look for it or just? Well, just yeah, if Kess is going up, is, is going up yeah. to investigate the door, then yeah, I'll go behind Kess and I'll just scan around for this this white crow. Make um, an investigation whilst check. Whilst doing that, I'm going to vigilant cool. blessing um, Diagon. Oh, what's that mean? Spectacles. You get uh, advantage on initiative. Nice. Oh, two good rolls. Seventeen and a fifteen. Uh, seventeen makes it a. 19 total. Uh, you can see that there is a, like, a crow, like, carved in the wooden door frame. I'll just sort of tap my finger on it. I don't think we're in the right place. What was it? A wooden... Like, in the door a crow frame, carved into okay. a crow carved into it. Yeah, and, and Kes, you notice that, like, the planks on the windows and stuff are real, but the planks on the door itself are, are an illusion. Yeah. So the door is not actually barred, it just looks like it is. She kind of just sticks her hand in it and wiggles it around to demonstrate to the others that it's an illusion. <laughs> so, are we going to go in loud we... or are we going to go sneaky? In, I would hope sneaky. Uh, can I have to cast Detect Magic to see if there's other sources oh, what of magic no. besides the illusion? Uh, besides the illusion? Yeah. Um, no, not at this, not on this door or anything like near you in that uh, regard, no. No magic. I'm just gonna, like, (laughs) grab Cass by the shoulder. She starts waving her hand through the illusion and pull her back. Just, like... Imagine they're on the other side and she's waving at them and doesn't know. The the hand just comes through. No, no, there's still a door. The door is there. There is still a door. It's just the planks. There's still a door. Oh, Oh, I thought there was, like, no door and just planks. And she was just like... No, no, no. no. The planks are an illusion to make it look like it's not a usable Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like... I got duck down and pull the cloak cloak up and try and... I'm gonna cast... Um, pass without a though. trace. Sorry. Ooh, good call. Oh, does oh, that give us all? Uh, yeah, everyone plus close 10. to her. Moves, yeah. Plus ten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Or plus ten. I'm gonna wrap wait, 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 Davin's what you, cloak. What were you saying, Duke? Before uh... that, I'm gonna get down low and uh, put my hood up and peek in through one of the bolted windows. I want to see if there's any gaps. I just want to see if I can see inside. Uh, make a perception check. Oh, uh, nineteen. 19. 19. It is very yeah. dark, but you do see that there is a staircase that goes down, and you can see that there's some light coming from the, like, the basement. Okay. I'll just communicate that to the rest of the party. Okay. Do we are there any other entrances? On this floor? Are we stealthing? Uh, any other entrances? Um, yeah. uh, <sighs> you can see a back door, yeah? Like through the window. Oh. Is the back door boarded up? If you go check, you do realize that it, the back door is actually boarded up, yeah. It's actually boarded up. Yeah. So, did you see anyone on the on the side of the stairs? Or down? I feel like that, it'd be dumb, right? But if that didn't see anyone was me, I would have you know something set up on that front door, not just the illusion. I think we might actually be better. Up and go through the back door. 
But it will be the door that they come and go through regularly, right? Yeah. Do you know how many people operate? Could be more than Don't, five. I mean, magic is complex shit, but like... Your mic keeps going out, Ethan. Yeah. Magic is, yeah. is is complex shit. You know, it's beyond me, but I don't know, Jax. Hmm. Your you or Cass are resident. Oh, I don't know. That, I guess just any magic on the door. Is there? <laughs> is, you know, do we reckon there's the possibility of traps? Do we go through the back? Uh, safe, if or? there is traps, it's it's not magical in nature. Uh, I'm I'll gonna. Check, I'll check for traps trap real quick. Mm. Oh, okay, no mind. I have the spectacles. <laughs> he doesn't. Oh, I'm checking you. for traps. Make I forgot about investigation the check, Davian. On the subject of which, mm. while we're talking about magic items, I'm gonna hold out the fucking ring of acrobatics to Dagon. What's that? It's the ring that me and Kess stole from the magic shop weeks ago. Forever ago, yeah. <laughs> and okay. Brooks has been holding on to it, debating so what to do with it. So you give me a ring, and I'm like, okay, cool. I just, I, you know I, what I it do, is I, because you you were Dagon was there when Jack said so you know what it is. for us. So you know what it is. I, oh, oh sure. okay. What Laura doesn't remember? What's it do? It's a plus, plus one, one to acrobatics. acrobatics. Okay. After I debated like what Brooks was gonna do with it for ages, but like after after Scrapyard, <laughs> you could use it <laughs> for us to your Rude, acrobatics. but true. <laughs> okay. Uh, what did you roll for your investigation, 21. Duke? Twenty-one. Yeah. You check the lock, and as you kind of like peer in there with your with your spectacles, you do see some copper wiring that seems odd. Okay, yeah, there's uh, there's something in the lock. We what? Can I? Why don't you check the back door and then potentially that way? I don't know how stealthily we can yank a bunch of planks off the door. Uh, the upper window is boarded as well. Yeah, everything is boarded. I, you know what? I it wouldn't be that loud to take them off. I have a crowbar. It's not like we're gonna have to smash through them. Have you ever heard pulling a nail out of wood? It's yeah, not quite it's a not. Thing. No, but it's not like a horrific. It's not as loud as smashing the door in. If those planks are nailed into the frame of a building you're I... in, you're gonna hear that shit. I want to yeah. start trying to disarm the trap with Matthew's two tools. Oh, this is when, make, uh, If everyone's like... D20 plus by. dex plus proficiency bonus. Proficiency. Is everyone kind of close by? Fuck yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 16, 19, 20, 21. 21. Yeah. Yeah. 21. You stick your thief tools in there and lift up the wiring and you can kind of with an angle can kind of see where it leads and it seems that there's small airtight like containers of a black powdery substance that are just rigged to blow up as soon as anyone that it doesn't you know isn't supposed to fuck with the door fucks with the door would you manage oh, to disarm nice. it <clears throat> is it locked um before... is it locked <laughs> it, i will say that uh <laughs> I'm not gonna make it twice for your thieves tools. So like, while, while, <laughs> now that you've uh, disarmed, disarmed it, you, it, you use thieves tools to unlock it as well. Before we she go just in, like... yeah, I might yeah. go. Okay, before we go in, I'll just whisper on breath. I'm just like, sorry, Brooks, and I'll give everyone eyes of night. So you'll have 300 foot dark vision. Nice. Oh, I can hate shit. Sorry. <laughs> Does that include Siren? No, it does not. Okay. Rip. I could have done instead of me, but I could have done, but I decided not to. And Lazarin just wants to watch Brooks suffer. No, no, that's like it goes like he doesn't. He just wants to see and think. Sorry, like it's it's more that like does it goes. Oh fuck. Oh wait, I'm not. Yeah. Just like so, you're like just doing it to like the group. It's like Brooks like gags for a second, then like like nope, I'm fine. Sorry, I'm fine. Sorry. Um, this is. Kaz is gonna like stealth as she goes through the door. Yeah, um, I'll stealth. Okay, as well. all yeah. of you roll a stealth check. Uh, you have plus uh, ten. Pass out a trace, mm. so plus yeah. ten. Oh, oh I didn't do it. I'm so sorry. Oh, spicy. Oh, fuck. I, I'm gonna be. I'll be really quick, but I got a thirty. Guys. Okay. Yes. Even um, the total is still seventeen, 
But it's a natural one. Sound. It just started pissing it down over here. Holy fuck. Imagine. Uh, natural one. To total, but a total of 17, even though it's a natural one, because pass out a trace and monk stealth shit. Mm. So, uh, books <laughs> have a 30. What the fuck? Siren rolled a 28. What did the rest roll? So 19, because I rolled a 5. natural one for a total of 9. Someone okay. stepped on my tail. What's your roll, Bell? made me hiss. A total of 19. 19. 16, 23. 16, 23. Okay. Two not ones though, that's rough. Good to know. Yeah. Good to know. Uh as you like open the door and then enter through like the, the illusory planks, uh you are in like a completely cleared out, just like old home. Um the light's still coming from you can see the staircase like in the corner. Uh there's a stairway down uh, where some light is 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 coming from. Other than that, you see nothing. It's it's dark. Like there's no nothing here of interest. There's no furniture, nothing. Just move towards the the light and oh, keep geez. aware in case there's any other traps lying around. You're gonna keep gonna... Uh, looking for traps. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep an eye out for any more. Okay. Um... I'm gonna send Odu up. By the way, to just fly around the house. Okay. You make your way down to the basement door, like down the set of stairs. There is a door. Make a perception check. Can I guide Ooh, everyone? No, this is Belle, because she's, oh, Cassie, she's oh, looking okay. for traps. Okay. Fuck yeah. Like, okay. Uh, what was it? Perception? Yeah. You can guidance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I get a d4 as well. Oh, a d4 as well? Oh, it was perception, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's shit. 25, 27. Jesus. Um, you do spot something. There's a magical rune carved into the door uh, that is slow like like um uh, like almost like pulsing lights someone needs to get rid of a rune on the door <laughs> jacks can you you show detect magic item to see sure yeah i'll I detect guess. what kind of magic it is mhm mm dude i found this website right it's just let's off topic <laughs> that just gives every magic item in the game a school of oh, magic yeah. and a description oh, of useful. what the fucking you like the the light looks like. It's great. Love it. That Wait, you don't know them off the top fantastic. of your head? What kind of DM are you? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um The magic you uh pick up from here is abjuration magic. It would great. Okay. So uh, this I'll say you recognize, because you've cast Alarm before. This is oh. the uh, Alarm spell. Okay, okay. Um, it, it seems that they've got an Alarm set up, so as soon as we go through, it's, we'll let them know we're here. So, basically, no need to be going sneaky anymore. Should we just no, we just run through. <laughs> right then. I mean, Jack, you're feeling strong, if not Brooks. As soon as he says Jax, yeah. fucking, I'm booking it. You gonna, <laughs> gonna run through the door? <laughs> just run through. Shoulder oh, He's like, he's like shoulder budget and he's fucking. Gone. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> As you do, you can. You're in the room and there's a bunch of like um, uh, furniture down here. Uh, there's chandeliers that are be that are currently lit and there's five men uh, sitting at a table that immediately just like as they hear the alarm, just like jump up and and pull their weapons out. Uh, as you just all like single file through this door, make your way into the basement. Um, oh, I would like to also We're nice good. and funneled and lined up for them. Did we uh, specify an order? Nope. Uh, Jax nope. was first. I am first. That's all I'm I know. Probably, I I'm would like to be second. Good well, initiative uh, will just tell us the I mean, order. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably going to be second off it anyways because nice. I was guidance in I'm going to be last. Oh, Koiba, thank you so much for that advantage on initiative. <laughs> You're welcome. Hold on, hold a natural on. 20 and a 2. Oh. <laughs> Don't <laughs> fuck me, Etsy you dice. Natural oh, okay. 20. Okay. Uh, Siren first. There we go. But I got a natural 20. No. <laughs> no, no, no. She's probably running down her fucking initiative first. Relax. Relax, oh. Laura. <laughs> I always roll that initiative, okay? It's exciting. Laura's like, Siren first. Um, like, but I rolled. He hasn't even rolled yet. Uh, 
How many of them are there? Five, five. of them? Yep. Five. Well, sounds like five. four easy kills to me. And then four one potentially double. slightly more difficult kill. <clears throat> oh, five easy kills and the secret sixth guy. <laughs> secret sixth guy. Or oh, five easy kills and some loot. Which turns out to be a mimic. It just... A <laughs> mimic, yep. It's a mimic health potion. Everybody's <laughs> favourite. Uh, there are worse mimics to find, trust me. What, house mimics? No. I'm, I'm not okay, going to no, ask. Uh, Laura, you rolled natural 20? Yeah, and for a total 20? of 24. No, but I had the same total as Diagon. <laughs> <laughs> Diagon goes first, then Davian. 24. Uh, 22. 22. 22, Jesus. Yes? This is good. We'll fuck him up. Dirty 20? Yeah. What's your dex? Don't like it. Uh, uh, plus three. Okay. Um, so is theirs. So I'm just going to say that this guy goes first and then you go. Roll fit. these? Huh? Roll off? Roll off? Oh, sure, roll off. Yeah. Fuck it. Why just a straight not? d20. Eight. Thirteen. Okay. Okay. Uh, so Brooks goes there. Fifteen to twenty? Brooks. Nineteen. 19. I thought I rolled quite well. Fuck, I'm still dude. going fucking fifth. Yeah, that's everybody, right? Except bullshit. for Jax. Jax. This is yeah. some what is your bullshit. Role, Jax? I got a fucking three, bro. Nice. This is nice. some bullshit. Don't recover Jax, from in there. Okay. Uh, first up, Daigon. Woo. Uh, how how are the five Daigon. spaced out? They were all sitting the at this like large round table and they all just kind of get up, okay. get up and they're still like gathered. Like they have the weapons drawn now, but they're still like yep. surrounding the table. All right, I want to run forward and do a cool, like, superhero landing on the table and bamf out my arms. Hell yeah. So, bone, they need to make a dexterity save. Uh, that's a 16. That is a 9. This would have been so much better if I'd gone first. That's a 15, that's a 14. Okay. That's a 9. Two 9s, 14, okay. 15, Okay, the two 16. 9s fail. So the two okay. 9s take 4 points of force damage. Okay. And then I am going to... Uh, d just with my real arms, just punch the one, whoever's in front of me from wherever I land. And just go to punch um, somebody in the face. Take a big 1 through 5, just say a number. Three. Okay. So I'm thinking if they're like one, two, three, four, I wouldn't land in the middle of the table then facing just the back of the room. Doosh. Sure. Um, oh, thank God. That was hovering on five and then tipped over to 13 plus six, 19. That hits. It hits. Woohoo. Mm hmm. Takes seven points of bludgeoning. No. Claws are out. Slashing damage. Okay. That's my turn. As you just jump up the table, whip out these, these spectral arms, and just deck one across the face, you just hear them all go, What the fuck is going on? <laughs> um, and that's... And then I just get back in, like, crouching on the table, just, like, fists okay. up, arm, and the, other, the spectral arms are hovering over my shoulders, kind of like, like this. Hey, so you just directly in the middle of them all? I'm directly <laughs> in the middle of all five of them. <laughs> Sorry, really that fucks up all your plans. Guys. But <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to untangle these guys. I mean, they're, they're just like real quick. Is untangle is, a deck save? Strength. Is this just like a shitty basement of a house? Like, what what what's around us right now? Literally just a shitty basement of a house. There's some furniture. <laughs> you can see on the other side of the room there is like a chest sat sat, sat against the wall. And there are some books spread on a desk, but it's, it's just a shitty basement of a house, man. I really, I feel like, I feel like these guys, these guys are not that big a deal, right? Like, I don't think we need to kill them, probably. Isn't that not what Jolly asked us, kind of? Well, she, I guess she just said to fuck them up. I don't Beat know. the shit out of them. Yeah. And that's we up might want to know you. who they are and where they're from, and... We can't tell you that because we're an initiative. So, uh, what would Davian do? 
fuck. <laughs> that even would fuck. Again, you can specify your damage Hot. to be non-lethal. We can just knock. Yeah, them all right. Let me knock an arrow and non-lethally shoot a yeah, guy. Yeah, you can no, shoot him in the arm or the foot. Shoot him in the kneecaps. I'm gonna. In, dude, times like these, that's lethal to most people. Um, <laughs> Not immediately. Just lethal, just I'm gonna... Like healers and potions and shit. I'm gonna curse under my breath. Mm -hmm. oh, fuck. <laughs> the likelihood that I cast Entangle, Daigon fails the save, is restrained, and then just gets the shit beaten <laughs> out of her by everyone. It's the scrapyard all over again. <laughs> is Daigon so... has a great time being restrained. Like it, it, <laughs> no. Normally, yes, but not now. Wait. Do the arms allow you to make... The arms allow me use to use wisdom? my wisdom in place of my strength, so it gives me a plus two instead of a plus zero. So it does. I do have a better shot than normal if you want to do it oh, right now. Oh, fuck. Are they all armed? Yes. I'm going to cast Entangle. Go okay. for it. I don't blame you. So strength so, save. It is a strength save. Yep. Ah, uh, I almost rolled a 16, but I did not. What did, What is it? What did you roll? A uh, 10 total. <laughs> uh, you want me to make it worse? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They all, they all passed? They all they passed, pass. just me? make it worse? <laughs> On 5d20, oh, no. yeah. 5 <laughs> natural 20, natural 18, natural 17, natural 14, natural 13, which makes the lowest an 18. <laughs> I immediately draw concentration. <laughs> like... <laughs> I could what have maybe the tried fuck, to get dude. out of it next to her. Like, it's... Yeah, None of them were entangled, only true. you. True. Why yeah. would I keep concentration? Now is your chance. That's, that's like these, the moment of what's the wall really come out Now of the is ground. the chance to turn on the party. <laughs> they all start fighting them off. Got it. Daigon fucking is the only one getting held uh... down, and they all immediately just go... <laughs> God, <laughs> if, yeah, like, if it was Jax in there, our character, we'd all be like, just do it. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> So you just like fire right. and ah, fuck I'll, I'll fuck. concentration immediately, sure. Oh, oh okay, thank you. Yeah, well, uh, normally, I, I will just use your action to, to cast it, so the next action you can choose to let it go. That's normally how it goes, but I'll say fuck it. You like so it's kind of well oh. actually. What do I do? What do I do, action. man? Oh, is it? Oh, okay, never mind. But you are the DM. You could tell you him tell that he has Odu. to hold it for a turn. To go get some guards. Onu's up flying them. around, okay? I can't tell any shit right Maybe now. Maybe you yeah. telepathically talk to him, I don't know. Get Onu to go oh. get some guards while we're trespassing in someone else's house, beating up the potential occupant. Fair. Hey, they're trespassing. Fair. It's a boarded up house, which means it's been condemned by the town, and therefore they shouldn't be in here. Unless they <laughs> boarded it up. Who are you? Yeah, you, 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 you can do well within your own rights to board up your own house, I guess. <laughs> I guess, can I use my bonus action to just be like, drop your weapons! <laughs> yes, Wait a so minute. intimidating. Wait a minute. Entangling Wait a minute. your friend. Question. What? Your entangle spell. It's like you shoot an arrow and then like vines or something no, sprout no, 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 from no. the arrow? It wasn't no. a bow charge, it was a spell okay. slot. Because for future reference, could I have deflect missiles and just caught it and been like, nope, but no, never mind. Um, <laughs> I shoot the entangle, you deflect it, it hits me and every one of us is just entangled in the doorway while you're stuck in the middle of the fucking group. Uh, if you're trying to like, intimidate them to drop their weapons, make an intimidation sure. check with disadvantage because you just fuck up the fucking entangle. <laughs> oh, a I good like, start. No, why not advantage? Because someone just got punched in the face, but no. Nope. nope. Damn. Damn. Six. Oh, they laugh. Very scary. They laugh. <laughs> they laugh. <laughs> now they, now they well, die. Now we have to kill them. So. <laughs> now they die. Is that your turn, uh, Duke? Yep. Right. <laughs> Cat's just gonna move out of the way of the door and let someone else fucking deal with this shit. <laughs> How far away are they? Uh, like 15 feet into the room. 15? Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna cast Shadow Blade and go up hmm. to the first one in front of me and attack him with my Shadow Blade. Hell yeah. So they all have numbers. You're attacking number one. I punch number three. Yep. That is a dirty 20 to hit. That hits. And then, where are my d8s? I just moved them. Woo, that one did not go in the tray. Six and four, 10. Plus two, so 12. Okay. You hit him. You do. 
but as a reaction, this guy mm -hmm. is going to just reach into his pocket and just mm -hmm. throw a fistful of sand in your face in an attempt to, <laughs> in an attempt to blind you. Uh, you need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. You got pocket sanded. Pockets. Oh, nice. Second only to pocket bacon. What was it? Saving throw. Yeah, dex save. Dex save. Uh, nineteen. Okay, you you don't get pocket sanded. You manage to like duck uh, out of the way of the sand, and the sand just goes. Psh. Okay. Bastard. <laughs> he tried. Get him and then I just killed. There you go. Getting sand. And you'll find it in your ship for the next three months. <laughs> yep, that's, that's oh, my yeah. turn. That's your turn. All right, the yep. bandit that you just shadow bladed did, 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 <laughs> is going to. Man, he can do a lot of things, dude. Um, oh, I don't like But he's that. not going to because he's going to surrender. He's going to surrender. Going to multi attack. Nice. First, he's going nice. to try and fucking pocket sand you again. Nice. So that's another. That's another. Uh... Oh, actually, no. As a reaction, it's a dex save. When he does it as, okay. a, as an as an action, it's a range attack. That's interesting. Huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fourteen to hit. No. So again, <laughs> he fails twice. Sand just goes. <laughs> uh, and then he just, just fuck the shit and just with his long sword, just gonna <laughs> fucking swing at you. This uh, guy spent months practicing his sand throwing technique, <laughs> and now it's uh, worthless. 15 to hit with a long sword? Nope. Okay. <laughs> he's at, he's, he's <laughs> mad. How he's is your AC so high if you don't wear armor? I have major armor still. Oh! Armor. Uh, it lasts oh. like eight weeks. Fair. Eight hours. Like eight hours. Right, eight, eight, eight hours. hours. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, that's his turn. Brooks. Is there one of them that appears to be the leader, or do they all just look like basic bitch fuckheads? <laughs> <laughs> There's no real indication that tells you, oh, that guy wears fancier hats, therefore he's probably the one. They all look pretty fucking similar. Like, none of them glanced at, like, one in particular when they started up. Oh. Oh. Bye, Duke. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Well, we know, we know that Davian isn't the leader. <laughs> um, <laughs> welcome back, Duke. Or not? Oh, I'm Davian now, <laughs> bitches. Get fucked. You're, you're Davian. I'm Davian now, bitches. Objects. <laughs> I'm the real Davian, motherfuckers. Hey, me and Kes are still the same. I'm and the same. And the Everyone's the same. Just... It's the bottom three that shifted. Davian, Jax, and Dutch. Anyway, <laughs> while we wait for mm -hmm. Duke to sort his shit out. Yes. Uh, do we... Ah, uh, fuck. Do we think we're going to have another fight today? Uh, uh, it's already... It's, ev it's evening. Evening. I'm gonna enter that age. Go for it. And I'm just gonna fucking barrel into the room. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's there's five of them. One of them's engaged with Cass. One of them's engaged with Dagon. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, One and three. Uh, you have two, four, and five left. Are they all in a line? Like a fucking line? They're around no, a they're table. Like, they were like sitting around a table, so that's kind of, uh, they're still like in that position. I'll stand alongside Dagon so that I can sort of be in melee with like on the three, table. Four, five. Okay. And... So that means you get up on the table with me, because we're not on the Yeah, ground. sure. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to take my hand axe. Still Wait, what the fuck happened to my webcam? I don't know. You, you disconnected the... and then just came back. Oh, yeah. I literally, I got up to piss, I didn't. Yeah, no, you, you, must you got fucking DC'd from the fucking call, so your webcam oh, was turned cool. off as well. Well, I'm back now. Turn on, please. Okay. Yes, yes, I'm fixing, I'm fixing, I'm fixing. Okay, okay, okay. I fix, I fix! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna fucking hand axe the dickhead. Oh no, <laughs> arbitrarily, number four. Sure. Okay. I appreciate not frag grenading me. I debated Along it and then cast me, dog. <laughs> oh, so it's like, dang it, dang it, whatever, cast now we can't. It was a it. deck save, cast like, and it's not precious. a super. It's not a super high deck save. I, I had confidence you would have made it. Oh. But I'm not risking it on two people. Oh. I don't know, this is Laura we're talking about, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm, fucking I'm dirty 20 to hit. Dexy. That hits. I only uh, roll okay nine on points of slashing check. damage. Nine points of slashing damage. Um, Frick this man. He is going to use his reaction to try and pocket send you. So I need you to make okay. a deck save. Uh, that's park bit. That was fucking 19. Uh, that's still a 19, so... Okay. You also 24. Dodge, the, dodge the pocket sand. Nice. 
<laughs> Fuck you, pocket sand, dickhead. <laughs> Their pocket sand not working out for them. No, well. it's really not working out that well. We're immune to sand, you morons! <laughs> That's my turn. Is, that, is that your turn? Uh, Elazarin. I will. Hmm. How many of them look injured? How many of them been hit? Uh, One in three. Two of them uh, look pretty fucked, and then there's two more that have gotten hit, but. Uh, okay. I will second level cast sleep. Mm. Okay. Night night. Good shout. Does that target the highest HP first? Uh, lowest. Lowest. Ah. Yeah, that's HP first. Uh, fuck no. Uh, also, that means you can do Twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, the one fighting Kess mm -hmm. passes out. He's just sitting. that one? Yeah, just that one. You ruined my fun! <laughs> There's four well, more! Now you can stab I mean, him you while he's kill asleep! Him with, the, with the crit. Now you can stab um, him while he's asleep on the floor. True. Kind of Defense like into the room. I'm just like, just like, come because you sleep. And then one of them goes to sleep. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's doubly worse. You should have said Betty by time. Just stabbed yeah. him. <laughs> Betty by time. That's a magical one. Wait, so did you offer them a hard cut off in like four minutes? No. Okay, good. Should be less of time. Oh, I do. Like, oh, fuck. I, w I would have said something a long yeah, okay, time before. Yeah, so I would have been God. like, hey, let's not thank fight. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's, that will be my... Can't wait for this man to go back to work so we can play D&D till 2 a.m. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, bandit. That just got... Ito. Yeah, the, no, the guy that completely got fucking hand-axed by you, Brooks? Yeah. Yeah. Is going to swing. Cry. It's going to multi attack two sword attacks. Bring it, bitch. Uh, first one is a 17 to hit. That hits. Okay. Second one is a yeah 10 to hit. And you're raging, no. so you'll be fine. Um, yeah, and I've still got 10 HP. Because he hit the first attack, he's going to attempt to disarm you with a disarming strike. Okay. Bandits, I hope this goes through. It'll be funny. Hits a creature with a weapon attack. It can expend one superiority die to attempt to disarm the target, forcing it to drop one item of your choice, which would be the hand axe. Uh, add a superiority die to the attack's damage roll. Right, okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, ooh, you take seven plus three, ten points of damage, half to five. Okay. Uh, and you need to make a strength saving throw. I sort of hope I fail this, because it'd be funny. Are you <laughs> raging? Uh, yes, yeah, so I get advantage, but it's a natural 18 already. Yeah. Uh, so, 22. Yeah, so you, you, don't, drop the, sorry. you don't drop the axe. <laughs> he tried. Moron. He tried. Um, another bandit, the one, one that hasn't really been fucked with yet, is going to hop on the table. Up on the table with uh, us. Is it getting crowded on this table? Is going, it's a pretty big table, to be fair. Yeah, it's going to uh, just jail time. try and swipe a Daigon twice with his longsword. Don't you dare. One What's is it, a bitch? 17 to hit. How dare you? Yeah, that hits. Second one is a dirty 20 to hit. Yep. Okay, so the first one is seven points of piercing damage. Okay. Second one is six points of piercing damage. Um, okay. About to lose your spear. That's How it. How dare you. Uh, Sirin now has a turn. No touching my spear. And Sirin no is going to... Look at that bandit that just hopped on the table and started fucking up. Daigon. I'll fuck him up right back next turn. Daigon's pissed. Sirin's gonna shoot him in the back. They of burned head. down our friend's tavern. There was useful shit in there that I wanted. <laughs> I'm oh, upset. Shit. I didn't roll enough dice. All of your catnip was stashed in one of the rooms there was. under the floorboards. I didn't roll enough dice for sleep. Oh, did you? No, I didn't. I missed 2d8 for casting at a higher level. Wouldn't have mattered. Win it at all? No. Huh? 16, if it's possible. Another potentially 16 HP? Yeah. yeah. It wouldn't have mattered, no. Get yeah, fucked, idiot! Alright. Clearly, they're not as hurt as you thought. Yikes! 
Uh, Siren is going they to HP cast Hunter's Mark on the guy that just swiped that die again, and he's going to fucking fire an arrow. Uh, it's a dirty 20. Impressive, because she's firing Ten. past a lot, me and a lot of limbs. Absolutely, for 13 <laughs> points of damage. Boom, let me just quickly burn a spell slot for the Hunter's Mark. Bang. Cool, that's her turn. Uh, bandit number three, so that's the one that Diagon also had in her face, if I remember correctly. Yeah, that's the one I punched. Uh, is three. going to... Oh. Interesting. I don't like that sound. Um... No, I'm just reading through some shit. He doesn't <laughs> realize what they can do. He's gonna just, yeah, multi-attack two, uh, two weapon attacks as well. Uh, f 12 to hit. Misses. And a 13 to hit. Misses. So he really upset these people. Swipes at you I twice know. <laughs> and miss. Um, the final bandit oh, that. that hasn't had a turn yet is going to run up and just start... It's gonna go around the table, run up to Kess as she's standing over his unconscious ally, and she's gonna try and jam his sword into Kess. Go for it, dude. Um, eighteen and a nine to hit. Eighteen hits, nine does not. Alrighty. Uh, you take three. Po or, no, not three. Ten points of piercing damage. Cool. Uh, that is it. Jack. Side but. Sidebar, James is playing Inscription and just got to the first, like, big, like, plot twist without making any spoilers. And he's nice. like, he just sent me a Snapchat of it going, what the fuck? And I'm like, it's <laughs> just, it's that game was a fucking <laughs> wild ride. Right. It's yeah. such a good game. game. Fucking nerds. Um, okay, Jax. Yeah. Who plays video games, dude? No, dude, <laughs> fucking weirdos. I'm assuming there's no way that I could hit all of them with a Thunder Wave without hitting, like, half my Absolutely allies, not. correct? Absolutely, Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Is it worth it? Probably. I don't know, is it? Just kill about half my allies with them. Probably work. <laughs> um, no, I'll just, uh, there, is there like some like loose, like, shit around the room? There, these are, there's just a chest in the room, and that's it, at the back. Just a chest? There's no like books or anything? Yeah, why? Small objects. Uh, cause I'm gonna reach into my mega holding, pull up my little mini catapult, and throw it over there, and it's gonna catapult it at the guy that's attacking, uh, Kess. Sure. Um, he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Twelve. That fails. He takes 3d8 bludgeoning damage. Ooh. Nice. Oh, god. Good night, Mr. Bandit. Oh, yeah, this guy's going night-night, dude. <laughs> Fucking 21 points of bludgeoning damage. Who needs yeah. to cast sleep yeah. when you can cast a catapult? That'll do it. That'll do it. Steve yeah. It's by random objects. Go night room. night, bitch. Just like just back of the head, and he just, <laughs> just fucking falls, eat shit. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I killed Bell too. <laughs> it was just the <laughs> most least threatening thing you could like say. <laughs> Wait, you, you you don't just imagine someone's like <laughs> fucking so killing fun. you and they're like, go night night, bitch. No? And then punching you out. <laughs> okay. Is that your turn, Jax? Mm hmm. All right, Daigon. I'll run over to the right, melee dude. with one of them, too. Okay. Uh, the one that hit me the most. So, not the one I initially punched, but now a new one who's getting in my face. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna get. Mad. I want to just I, take a page from Brooks's playbook, so less of my fancy looking mug shit and just a lot of punching with all the arms. Mm -hmm. Just reverse. <laughs> so, first attack, so just pivot and go punch the other guy. Um, that's a 19. It's. Um, and I'm going to be using my spectral arms for all of these. Mm -hmm. And. All of them are non-lethal. The intent is just to, like, knock them unconscious. Beat them to a bit of a pulp, but knock them unconscious. Okay. Um, five points of force damage on the first hit. Mm-hmm. And then flurry of blows, spend a key point. Um, the first one is a 21. Hits. For that time, seven? Hold on. What's my mod? Yes. Yes? 
Seven. Seven. No. Eight points of force damage. Okay. And then the second in the flurry of blows, same thing, 21 to hit. Um, for another eight points of force damage. So eight uh, non-lethal, right? Yeah. yeah this I just want to knock you, him you, on you the ground. You knock him out. You fucking knock him out. Yeah. That's me. That's my turn. Hell yeah. Kidoki? One down. Um, am I stupid? Yes. Uh, I'm not going to answer that. Shut up. Okay, cool. Uh, Davian. How many? Who's left standing? There's two left Three standing, and they're both. Oh, uh, one of them is. Um, no, they're both like like at the table, engaged with uh, the two monks. I'm gonna grab my necklace and just. A little angry and a little embarrassed that the uh, entangle didn't work. I'm gonna just hold out my hand, hold my fucking necklace, close my eyes, and just like, at you know, <laughs> g generally gesturing at one of them, and I'm just gonna see what happens. Oh no! <laughs> oh, oh interesting. no! Oh dear! Oh, We're gonna set no. their house on fire now. Just explodes hey, like the Death Star. Just. <laughs> Fuck the oh, Death Star, dude. It explodes like they uh, found pieces of whatever the, gang the Death Star on the exploded. On the street. <laughs> oh, fucking Alderaan. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> this is though a million voices cried out in fear. And then we decided to hit Adventurers by Dental Records. Make a. Um... Oh, no. Make a charisma no. check. Oh, oh I'm okay. gonna fuck this, dude. Holds out his necklace, channeling. Divine power or what and just burst into flame. Sixteen. Sixteen? Oh, that's not bad. Rolls a hit. Oh, uh, with what modifier? Spell attack? Yeah. Twenty two. This like orange beam just shoots out of oh. your uh out of your uh Tears of Kasuth. Just like impacting your target in the back. Uh, just roll roll damage for Eldritch Blast, which I think is a d10? D10, yes. I think. Yep. Yeah, so roll d10. Four points. Cool. Alright, cool. seems to work. It fizzles out pretty fast, but it's, mm, it's something. Yay! That's my turn. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I just kind of stand there like... Hmm. Oh, um, there's one, like, attacking me, right? No, you got pelted by a bunch of random got objects, so you got yeah. fucked. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's two more, and they're both like at the table. Okay. And there's, I'll go up to. Guy. And there's another the... guy that's asleep at your feet. Yeah. True. I'm not gonna kill him. Tempting, nah, but no. Boring. Um, I'm gonna go up to whichever one is closest at the table. Okay. I'm assuming one is. Yeah. And using my shadow blade and my dagger, just attack. You don't care about like, non-lethal? You're just gonna fucking stab them? Uh, non-lethally. Okay. Gonna yeah. non-lethally stab him. <laughs> non-lethally yeah. decapitate you. Natural yeah. 20. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, non-lethally through the neck. It's about to be so unlethally fucking stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't go all the way. The dagger is chop it's both like... his limbs off. She could. She could be using like the butt end, like the hilt of the she's dagger, fucking... to knock someone. Yeah, she like, is. Yeah, yeah just gave him like six concussions. I mean, crack I mean, it's skull. made of pure shadow. <laughs> no, it's death by a thousand okay. cuts. Just those little pinpricks. Just like uh, Cass well, never moves. The like you're doing it. Four. Just takes twenty four points of damage. Yeah. Yeah, he's knocked Plus the fuck out. Plus boosted twenty six. He's knocked the fuck out, dude. Is this shadow blade? That was Shadow Blade. <laughs> then it's Jesus. psychic damage as well, just to <laughs> fuck it up even more. Nah, but like, <laughs> my guy's got his rules brains dictate blown that out. you can say non lethal, and whatever you do is non lethal, so like, whatever. She just said that man just hurt corner. real bad. Uh, I chucked the man off the top of the castle, he's, he's non lethal. And he just, he's just like. I was gonna say, he's gonna. We talk about this. Is that his turn? <laughs> uh, is he singed in the back? Is that his turn? No, he just kind of says that like as he sees his last com compatriot fall, and he's like, "Can we talk about this?" Uh, Kaz is gonna like point 
her dagger like in his direction and try and like intimidate him as she like steps closer. Okay, uh, Brooks, it is your turn now. Is he still holding on to his weapon? No. Okay. Ah, uh, just out of pure frustration, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my hand axe away and then punch him in the face. Okay. Uh, fucking twenty-three to hit. That hits. Six points bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, like, yeah, shit. I guess if one's asleep, three are unconscious, and this guy's surrendering, uh, I'll start grappling him. Well. If we are out of initiative, I will grapple him. If we are still in yeah, initiative, yeah. Unless anyone here plans to say time. "fuck you" and still fucking yep. start no. beating him up, then no. I will tie up the one that's asleep. I yeah. just try, yeah. I I'll, I'll get out. this guy in the grapple. Okay. As I tie up, to, just do like a really quick sort of not nothing too major. Do I have one? So, so um, <clears throat> hypothetically, right? Hmm. How much would it cost for you just to bugger off and us to bugger off and never see each other again? Oh, how much, <laughs> how much does it cost to replace a tavern, anyone? Oh, at least 2,000 gold, right? Oh, I think that was what this was about. Mm -hmm. Why did you do it? I don't know, cunt kicked us out. So you just like burn down the whole personality that like yours. <laughs> well, we know stuff about her and about her side hustle and her. Uh, Try to leverage it against her in exchange for some free drinks, and she wasn't too keen. So yeah, we burnt the fucker down. See, if you just burnt the fucker down, we'd probably be happy just to beat the shit out of you and have you in some way help to rebuild it or whatever the fuck. Mm. But the fact that you know something about her and try to leverage that... Mm. Can I slink... Out of the out of the door and up upstairs, mm -hmm. and go out and like, just sort of call Onu down and yeah. <laughs> Onu, Jolly's uh, over with the cart. I don't know. Suppose, suppose you could just fly over there and sort of clack it her a little bit and get it to follow you down here. Um, Onu nods and. Whoosh. All right. I'll look and at. I'll, I'll, I'll head back down. I'll look at Kess and Dagen. Mm-hmm. Do mean you guys know what he means by side hustle? Mm-hmm. Nod, yeah. To which point? Is that the sort of information that we want people to know and be looking around with? No. Is it a piece of information that's worth killing them over? I I, I vehemently nod no at that. Well, also, who'd believe depends anyway. on what Jolly says. I guess we'll have to ask Jolly whether or not these kids need to be asleep. I just I, uh, sent Oni to fetch Jolly, so... I, I'll i sign to Kess sure and ask her to tell Brooks, like, um, if you could relay this. Like, knowing what you know about my general reservations of illegal activity and that I know about this, you, like, infer what you will about how bad her side hustle could possibly be. If I know about it and I'm chill with it, I'll I'll repeat that. Exactly that. I'm not gonna <laughs> fuck with it. Yeah, exactly that. Okay. I mean, just because something's illegal doesn't mean it's something you want to become a knowledge. Rather, Jolly's opinion. I'm, I'm on gonna hog tie. The whole point was I'm implying the, it's like not asleep because... and <laughs> bludgeoned out guy. Sure. I mean, the sleep guy I've already tied know. like done a really quick so tile anyway. He's... Yeah, yeah, I'm assuming Trust I just kind of went for like everybody's yeah. knocked out. Like even the guy that yeah. you catapulted, I'm just gonna assume that that was also non-lethal yeah. because yeah. just he got just hit with a bunch no. of blunt objects to the back of the head. No. And... Yeah, yeah, however, night. however, he doesn't know his name anymore or anything else. <laughs> <laughs> he has a concussion. He's his alive, name is Greg, and he's a very nice guy. Works in the flower shop now. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's have a new friend. Um, he's he's physically alive. Yeah. Uh, a few minutes go by, <laughs> and uh, Jolly arrives and walks downstairs. This uh, big f bird kept nodding and, and prodding at me, and uh, I figured it wanted me to follow. And I yeah, that's right. Yeah, well, you 
recognize only correct your uh the well uh, your um arsonists i suppose is that so and she'll like lean down to the one that is still conscious just got my arm around his head <laughs> and brooks just like turns his head have they said anything useful? Just turn him to look up have they said anything I'll, useful i'll sign to jolly just that <laughs> They, for some reason, seem surprised that you kicked them out when they fucking blackmailed you. They're just assholes. She like I am up and down. Hmm, what do I do? You have information on me that I don't necessarily want out. But then again, how likely is it that people are going to believe, especially the gods, uh, a bunch of arsonists for that word? What do you think? Mainly directed at Kess and Daigon. I think it's your choice. Yeah, you're but the one who lost we'll the back. most. Uh, we'll back your decision. We'll get the guards. And if, uh, you know, I don't want to make this decision and uh, I'll talk to his excellence and see what he wants to do. And if he wants to get rid of him while they're in prison, he has ways to do that. So. Hmm. Sounds sensible to me. And as, oh, but, uh, as she, like, gets up, uh, she, like, faint, like, kind of, like, fake turns around and then just turns back and just knocks out, knocks out, like, uh, the uh, final, the final guy, knocks him out as well. Mr. DM. Hello. Did she say his excellence? She did. Yeah, so was that out loud or okay. saying? That was out loud. Okay. Okay, okay. good to know. <laughs> I know something you don't. <laughs> Okay. Can I, cool. Cool, I cool, cool. go have a look at the chest and see if it's weird in any way? Uh, it's not weird in any way, but it is a chest. Can I open it? Not a minute. Uh, it is locked. I'll unlock it. Okay. Uh, use your thieves tools. Make a you know a, a dexterity check with proficiency. Win. Sixteen could just cut plus. Out their tongues. No, that's what was it? Dexterity. Barrack. Dexterity and proficiency bonus. We uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Why is it uh, you find inside this chest a pouch of 50 gold pieces. Woo! Um, some old books that are all marked with uh, a white crow. Uh, and also a small cask of gunpowder. Or black powder. Uh, I'm gonna hand uh, the black powder to Jax. Um, the gold to Jolly. And the books to a last one. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, I sure I'm gonna be searching the bodies for any loot. It's gonna be going around. Make an investigation check. Oh, yeah. Can I guide myself? Sure. Oh, yeah. Investigation mm -hmm. 10. One of them uh, was carrying a key, which you assume is probably for that chest, yes. uh, and uh, also a key for what you you know for the the, the house. Uh, mm. One of them seems to be carrying uh, some kind of grenade type device you've seen Brooks use them before. It looks very similar. Oh, yeah. um, and you find like five gold pieces on them as well. Oh, just pocket the five gold. Mm -hmm. cool. I don't know which yours. pocket. <laughs> We could just break their ankles, maybe. No, it is fine. Let's just get no. the guards, get them arrested, and get this fucking I night will, over um, with. Really, um, like, not really knowing how like delicate the grenade is or anything like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Brooks, I found this and chuck it towards him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch it and I'll just start juggling it, like noticing that it makes him uncomfortable. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm. I'm not doing. He it. doesn't I'm, understand. I'm doing it. He doesn't understand what it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, I don't know how sensitive like, this is. Yeah, I just literally. I was, no, 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 it was an underarm throw. It was just like, oh, Brooks, I found this. You use these, right? And like, just. <laughs> so, okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> Brooks is absolutely fine with it. Brooks has like, the ego of a fucking. God, I like he thinks he'll find. Yeah, like, this I took this hand. pin out beforehand. Was that important? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, the pin was very important, but you can oh, have fuck. it back. The best prank ever. Um, 
Oh man. Just puts it in his pocket and then Jolly, goes, uh, Oh, did you want the pin? <laughs> leaves for for a few minutes, comes back, and there's just like this this squadron of guards, blue sentinels. Um Jolly explains them the story and, and uh the guards take them away. Looks at you all. Well, um at least I suppose uh you'll have a roof over your head for the night. It might not be much, uh, but here. Suppose. Right. Uh, unless you want to sleep outside uh, in the cart, but I figured at least you'll be dry, right? Is there, so stay here. Is there any other tavern? Like, is there only one tavern in Southwood? I know Southwood's quite. Small. Southwood is super tiny. Okay. Like that was the only tavern in town. Yeah. Even more of an egregious crime, they burned it down. Yeah, they burned the only tavern down. Why do you think Brooks wanted to like made? take their fingers off? <laughs> um, I'd like oh, to thank uh, you for your uh, for your for your help. I really appreciate it. Uh, not the first time you uh, help me out now, and uh, I will never forget. I owe you one once I am in the position to give you a proper reward, but uh, I'll talk to some people and figure it out. Guess um, I'm going to have to talk to uh, my superior and see what we do about this. So I guess I'm headed to Eldilon for a little while. We'll be heading back there in a couple of weeks, probably, in the next yeah. few weeks. Hope to be gone by then, but uh, you never know. Yeah. After that, we're gonna become pirates! This, this boss of yours, Jolly. Hmm? You wear, like, a white coat. Don't ask questions that could get your head cut off. Okay. That's... I mean... Sure, okay, I'm not the one throwing the name around in company, but that's fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, so that never happened, that's fine. I just signed a cast technically, she didn't say a name, she said a title. So. She like Snickers. Mm. You're not wrong. Uh... You don't know what I said, Brooks. No, that's the thing. <laughs> I want to disagree with you, because I know <laughs> things. But Brooks has no idea what you said, so. Exactly. Anyone could be your excellence, you know? Yeah. You don't know. Maybe that's what right, she calls well, her lover. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I know obviously there's not room for us to stay at yours, but I don't know if you... Would you object to us, like, using your kitchen to make some food before we fuck off back here? Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Um, you can... You, you, yeah. We'll, we'll have some food at my place. Maybe some drinks. And then... Uh, I mean, obviously, you can sleep wherever you want. But I figured eh, there's a house now that is empty. And then we'll provide at least cover from any potential rain or something. Are we, mm -hmm. are we due rain here? We haven't had much rain here at all recently, have we? I mean, it is quite tropical. But every once in a while, uh, you know, a tropical storm rolls through. You never oh, know. Well, can't wait for that. Actually. I don't think as a group seen a proper storm yet. I don't think so. Um, I lived in the woods. That should be do some good rain then. Right. Food, drinks, casual conversation without too much prying. <laughs> Hard specification, but I can respect it. Oh, she was looking at Brooks when, when she said that. <laughs> that, that that's <laughs> fair. I, I did pull the same thing earlier. That's I'm just... I just kind of lean to one side and nudge Kess. Did you, uh, did you see that, by the way? Did you see that? I did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> Bell's camera. Bell's camera froze. Yep. The best, dude. Bell's camera is the best. I perfect seen, time. I ha can't see mine or Duke's camera. It's just oh, the your, cam <laughs> your camera? Your camera yeah. froze like this, and it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, for fuck's sake. Um, I hate it. That, Yo, no, we have guest sleeper um, as well. <laughs> no, stop. Have some drinks, have some food for the night, and end up resting wherever, whether it's just like I the or... I will share my fucking keg. Nice. Um, With no Unless there's something <laughs> pressing you guys want to have done tonight, shall we say that you guys get some sleep? Hell yeah. yeah. And then we'll pick it up next week. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Absolutely. Cool, 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 cool. I won't. Alrighty. Thank you so much for playing, y'all. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much appreciated. Mm -hmm. I hope I you guys enjoyed. I fired another Blast, and this time it hit someone. You did. Who wasn't like a friend? And not a tree.
All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Much appreciated. Uh, we'll be here tomorrow for Divinity? Question mark? Yeah. And hope yeah. it's not as cursed as last week. But we don't talk about yeah, that. Yeah, no fucking kidding, dude. Yeah, well, last week was rough, man. I don't, want, I don't know what you mean. I had great fun. Mm, yeah. Uh, we're going to throw the... Um, I think we're just going to throw the host over to uh, Dicely, because they're playing the yeah. game now. Oh, yeah. you're going to be doing the Freak, same... Yeah. You didn't do Discourse this week, did you? Because you're a computer. Yeah, because I'm a computer. So, do you want to do the same guests that well, you were going to have? Decide guests, he I didn't wasn't... even decide, so... Uh, we oh. had Soko and Duke last time. Mm -hmm. Before then, we had uh, Laura and Belle. Mm, Koibi, I let guess. Me think. Let me think, let me think. Do we just want to do Ethan and Koibi? Uh, for mm -hmm. mini games, it makes sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let me just double-check um, my work search and I'll We can talk about Saucy Spider yeah. Gang. Saucy Spider Gang. Literally called the Night Web, actually, guys. Actually, ooh, no, there's Saucy uh, Spider Gang check. forever. There's definitely been some like, stuff happening to both your characters since the last time y'all were on that we can talk mm -hmm, about for sure. Definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I should be free. I mean, I have I'll let you work know thing, changes. but Stepdad's home, so he can do care of shit. Fuck him. Okay, cool. So we'll have uh, Koibi and... No, uh, oh, I'm free. Uh, it's my day off. Oh, nice, there you go. Stepdad, oh, I'm man. stuck. So we're we're long resting on Discord. You're yeah. long resting right. at the end of the night, right. and we'll pick yeah. this up cool. uh, next time. Thank you very much, Give everybody. We appreciate y'all. I'm gonna quickly just uh, fucking throw the host over to Dicely, and we'll be here tomorrow for Divinity. Peace Ooh. out, everybody. See you next weekend for uh, for more D&D shenanigans. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.